actually working. Seat. Cool. Very cool. So now we're I'm all happy. Yeah, this is Annabelle Lecter. This is Nasty Neil. And we are headed back to the Brattle for the last installation of yeah, the evening. This, this one I'm really looking forward to. I was looking forward to all of them, but uh, this is the um, trigger warning shorts, which uh, usually the is my kind ones. of stuff. Yeah, I like it's all those. the weird, yes, yes. wacky. Which, which well, I, I need after the last movie. Yeah, it was so funny because so we're in this movie. Ennis Men, which I'm yeah, not even really sure Yeah, E N Y S Men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good question because yeah. there's there's a lot of different people. Yeah. None seemed more important than any other. No, other not very many. Very so. many in it either. So I didn't quite understand. Yeah, so this this woman, this like skinny woman, and it's set to be like in uh, I don't know the 70s or whatever. Right. I think at some point they say that, but but <clears throat> I say that. But the time is all over the map. Yeah, I think not the unlike another is, favorite film of mine. Right, is that the time is you know all at once. Right? But uh, my my quick review is it rivals uh, Skin of a Rink actually has a rival this year for my least favorite experience in a movie. Yeah, and it was so funny first because at like, the end, well, first before the end of the film, I'm okay, like looking now, around. Like, I know because it, it was sold out. Yeah, so it was yeah. super packed. Well, maybe we shouldn't rag on this right next to the door. <laughs> so, because <laughs> it's right across the brattle. Whoa! Um, so it was packed. And we had to, like, we got in a couple of minutes late, and we had to sit off to the side. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, everybody's captivated watching this. And it's very, very nice. And they did a great job making the, making it look like an older Oh, yeah, it definitely film. looks old. It's, it's yeah. shot very well. Yep, everything looks... Period. And I'm cool it's with good. a slow burn movie, and I'm oh, thinking, yeah. you know, it's going to lead to something. And yeah. They, tell, they make you think that a lot. You see a lot um, of rocks dropping into, oh. a, into a pit. Into a mine. So, yeah, we're going and going and going and watching this thing where there's this woman. She's on an island, and she's, like, apparently monitoring the... the islands like for temperature and looking at this rare flower and she's got to record it in a little book and she's got you know it's a regular like um, composition book and on the side it's like here's the date and then here's the temperature here's the update and it's no change and every single day for at least 10 days because i counted 10 days in the, in the legend you see her Go flowers. outside, look at flowers, stick a thermometer in the ground, drop a rock down a well, wait for it to hit the bottom where it splashes. Uh, what else does she do? Anything else outside other than the weird Just stuff walk, sometimes? Yeah. And then she goes back inside. Oh, she starts the generator outside. Right, right. It's on an island. Mm-hmm. Goes inside, makes tea until mm-hmm. she runs out of tea. And it's like, I get trying to build something so you, you start to feel mm-hmm. exhausted by it to, like, relate to the tedium of what's happening. Yeah, but it was 10 yeah. or more than 10 yeah, times yeah. you see this shit. And, yeah, it's, it is very skin and marinky. And I, it Neil is, and I yeah, both, yeah. like, laughed at the end because I said, it's in my notes, <laughs> it's in my notes. Um, because it's like, they'll be eat- – <laughs> Skinner Ring has two that I remember, the funny to me and memorable, like jump scares right. where it's like, yeah. the, and they one. did that, and it's like a fucking rock with lichen on it. It's like, rock! yeah, that, it was funny. That's the first time like you hear that music, and it was the flower has has oh, has, it has a, like one I, little piece. Yes, yeah, and, and just like, like like it was like the end of the world. It's like, come on, guys, like, yeah, and they you clearly they put that like sound in there. Yeah. Because you wouldn't know it was meaningful otherwise. <laughs> no, I didn't even know what was going on, honestly. I was like, oh, he's like at the flower. Yeah, head. it's like in a sitcom when it's clapping to like yeah. let you know it's right, supposed to be right, right, yeah. So, yeah. Um, she looked great for her age. You oh, saw yeah, her yeah. nude a few well, times. I, I, and I was like, wow, she's probably in her 60s. Yeah, like I envy her. And, yeah. She was looking good. And I, I think they kind of fell in love with the look. Uh, I mean, she's very photogenic. I think they yes. kind of fell in love with yeah. the look of everything because they just had so many, many shots of the same thing. And uh, yeah. And there was a story happened. there, like you I think, mean, think that someone's her daughter, that, yeah. and there's like ghosts. Well, really there's like th- ghosts on the island. I really think and... the theme is it's more about the time is all at once, beginning and middle is all. Uh, 
is all at the same time. And I think the, the girl you think is her, uh, is her daughter is actually hers. Yeah, yeah, because they show yeah. like, well, there's reasons that you find out, I guess you could be debatable, but I think it's pretty clear at the end that it's yeah. probably her, but like there's liking glowing on the flowers. And so you see the ledger, it keeps going yeah, back to these things every day. Base, like, you're ledger, watching ledger, ledger. like and grow while you're watching this movie. Basically. Yes. On everything, and so she's different think weird the theme, ghosts in different like, places. There's a good theme there, I think about. Yeah, that, I think but, so too. Um, I think if they took some of the the ghost stories a little bit further, it would have been yeah. really something. Yeah, you and can't I don't know have. Why they didn't. You can't have it like go in the pace of actual like it, bro. Yeah, and the thing is, is like to mention ghost things. It's I'm saying it so fleetingly because the moments are so brief. You've got like yeah. insight into things that had happened on the island at, over the course of history, mm-hmm. where people die. There's a reason there are ghosts on the island, and some of it's sad. Like there's actually like a person that interacted with her is this guy that used to visit the island and bring her supplies. And there's like a real sad part of the story, which you could probably tell where I'm going because I'm talking about ghosts. But there are just there's a lot of really good stuff. Mm-hmm. That you can I, say in like 15 minutes. Yeah, it exactly. It's uh, it to me. It's actually more disappointing than Skin of a Rink, only because I think there's to me there's nothing uh, nothing I could say positive really about Skin of a Rink. Mm-hmm. But uh, this actually had a good theme. It shot well. I think the person who made it could actually make is no yeah like cinematography and what a movie is. But it's just so oh, it's shit. just too dreadfully slow. Yeah, and, we got- so yeah, we're looking around, it's like everybody is alert and the place is packed. And then, you know, kind of say, I didn't fall asleep. I think we I had a little either, air conditioning actually. on yeah. us, which was probably really helpful yeah. for that. Um, but then I started looking around and must have been three quarters of the way through. I see like, because I see a, a couple people in front of us. They're like, yeah, you can see like their heads saw, from behind. The, the one guy right in front of me a couple times, he just... Yeah, he was like, <laughs> like this. Why is he like lifting up his arms? Like, what the fuck? Like, I think <laughs> it's when really saw the funny. rock drop, like for the 80th time. I was like, <laughs> I agree with you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. And then even like, so then yeah, I just looked around the theater, and there's a realistically a fifth. I'd say a realistic fifth of the crowd. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say a quarter, but realistically a fifth, and that's a lot. In yeah, the whole it's thing. A lot, right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get over here, though. Yes, to, uh, it's time to go. Hopefully enjoy a bunch of lovely, yes. wonderful shorts. So, sorry, Ennis men. Yeah, and we'll if anyone's see. watching this and say, well, if, we, if we don't make the party, we're going to try to, but we don't know how late it goes, but we do want to watch these shorts. While we, we really do. Yeah. yeah, it's a great opportunity, and we're only we're not here the whole week. Exactly. So, we got to right. take it while we can get it. Yeah. So, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're live. Are we? Hey, yeah. Wow. My phone's cool. fine. Maybe in the middle of the night. Working. Yeah. So, hey, so, it's Neil. This is Annabelle. Mm-hmm. Hunter, and we're just leaving the Friday night bus. Right. Let's go over here. We can see the bus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we met. Oh, they put the picture. <laughs> they put the banner away. Did they? Well, I don't know. No. Like, what are they doing putting away at one in the morning? Oh, ah! oh I'm. I've been sitting. Uh, right. I hurt my arm. I hurt my arm quite badly mm-hmm. a few weeks ago. And I think I've been sitting in a chair, in a theater chair, a little too long. But we're done with the theater yes. right now. So yeah. we're going to go check out the little after party if they're still open. Yeah. A lot of people cut out and didn't do this block, which. That's unfortunate. You know, I understand they have, but it's unfortunate whenever they have multiple things yeah, going. It's tough. It. Yeah. It's tough. So we're going to check that out. Um, and. We'll probably do that now before we get into talking about all the stuff and hopefully catch people that yeah. are there. And then we'll come back later. But just wanted to give you the update that yeah. we're out and, and we're about. And uh, for, for, for some reason, uh, on this um, the stream here on uh, If I Use It Mobile, I just oh, see yeah. Facebook it's users. Just, it's everybody on the side that's saying so kind, There's a lot of people things. watching, and that's very I cool. But maybe that's... Mom, he says, Mommy Neil. <laughs> Maybe. Know. And the shoulder Not injury. Sure. Someone who actually that knows that I have the shoulder right, injury. Right. So if if it's Seth, hello. If hello. it's not Seth. And hello to you, hello. whoever you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll we'll be back again sometime yes. late, later tonight. Sooner or later. Right. Ho- hopefully later. Yeah. Honest, it's very cool. We're actually seeing people. And earlier, really, earlier really, really I really thought cool. I should pre- maybe I should just wore a hoodie, Dude, but now I'm glad. Yeah, I know, but now I'm glad. I literally, I'm like, Neil, here's oh, the know. weather well, throughout see, the evening. You see, I'm just saying when I got here, though, I was warm and I was like, oh, maybe I should just wore a hoodie. Maybe, maybe night in New England doesn't get colder. 
in March. You see, I wore it. I do. I'm just saying earlier it was warm. That's what I'm saying. I just saw a bat. All right, let's get out of here. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Hey, that's cool. Hey guys, I'm Poncho Moller from Rob Zombies 31, and you're watching Without Your Head. Hey, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, this is nasty news. And we are live here at dinner. Yeah, this is um like apparently the last IHOP in New England too, because it was literally telling us to go here to IHOP in Brighton or go to Keegan's son in states away. Yeah. I is that, it's, it's like, right? Yeah. This one is the, is the live on your head okay? I can get rid of it. If not. Yeah, it was it was funny. I, I think that's the one that actually recommended that we drive to. Uh, Seventy nine miles. So maybe we should have. Maybe the, maybe it was it was like telling us something. Maybe something cool about. Maybe some, oh, maybe if we, we run out of time, yeah, we can just go over the. It's a gamble. They probably wouldn't let you live stream it. Probably not. Probably. But if we get bored, we'll see. They're probably going to get more bored. Yeah. If they did, they just kick us out. That's their board. No, these people watching us are like, oh, that's crap. These guys suck. They'll be like in that movie. In the Ennis. Yes, and it's been. I still don't understand the name of the movie. I don't know. I think we'd have to. It's probably some British thing that we don't understand. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, E-N-Y. Okay. So, before we do that, this, yeah. um, Boston Underground Film Festival, mm-hmm. uh, the great festival. Yes. Um, I, I love the community feel. Yes. From everyone, the filmmakers, uh the people who, who put it together. Sean, the Sean, amazing guy that runs the merch. He's a I guess the merchandise director. Yeah. I saw him at the end. We were gonna try to we told we left yeah. the yeah. very last thing early because we saw that short in Atlanta for the amazing Renegade Film Festival. So we're like, all right, let's cut out early and then try to get in the little back the tail end of this little party. You know, eating around it, there's a lot of people that neither of us knew. So we're like, ah, we'll try to get some pins and stuff and went back. And they were closing down. But this cool guy in this like skeleton, like onesie, yeah, I, and I was jacket, hair, and I noticed he had space goals patch on his jacket. And he's like, I saw space goals, that's space goals, his grandfather. And we started like talking about space goals. But anyway, yeah, he was really cool. He was going to let us come back in, but there's no way to get in once you're out. It's right. very yeah. so. Um, so I just volunteered Jimmy Gunn to pick us up. So. Yeah, and I'm like, he's like, oh, we'll just we can just have someone get them, send them to us because so the reason that I will not be able to get there is because where I am from is called North. It will be snowing all day long. Buff, buff, but yeah, I just didn't work out. Snow, yeah. And it'll be rainy yes. in Boston, but doable. Basically, anywhere south of me, it's doable. I'm thinking this will give me a reason, or maybe all of us a reason, to, to meet Jim besides this day, Bob. Gonna go pick up these uh, oh, I didn't know it was going to be an exchange. I thought it was going to be like a yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean, I would yeah. yeah, I'm volunteering for even more stuff. But no, I, I think it was cool. <laughs> I thought someone was literally pulling down their shirt. Oh. Yeah. But it's just their shirt. Yeah. Just, so wait, uh, I, got, I don't think these are currently up. I'm going to put these back up. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to put the... the Old new logo, the new old logo, the new without your head logo on that. That's one that's anyway. These will be available very soon. Yes, made by the terrible Troy. Yeah, this is very This is an audio, which is very weird. Uh, uh, we've got an audio, uh, gelatinous cube, Roper, Rust Monster Mimic. 
a bunch of cool ones. A bunch of cool ones. Mine is just I like that shirt. I love this shirt. I got this right before the last one. See, I'm not doing it. That's what I used to do. I used to do this when people do the devil horns, and then I guess airplane. I think it, this actually means I love you. I think it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I didn't know. That's what Jimmy stuck with. Apparently, I like I love you. Like, Aww. Aww. Yeah. It's kind of hard to understand, y'all. Is it? Hey, anybody who's watching, tell us who you are, because it just says Facebook user. Yeah. At least for us, while we're live recording. Is it really? Is that, oh, we got some babies coming. Thank you. you. Want to try it just without this? It will work better. Try it. Oh, I don't know if that's even. That was even plugged in. <laughs> Hello? How does it sound right now? I don't know. Can you hear us? Set. Is that set? Yes. So oh, yes. I don't know if that's any better. Help us. Help us out. Depending on you. Thank you. Uh, so unhelpful. Yes. Bacon, sir. Hurry. Seriously, I think they just, they just warmed them up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think they could pick up the word. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. But usually you brown them a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh, Sounds eh, I can't tell the difference, but it's unclear as it was. All right, how about this? new recording technique. Right. So let us know this now. The problem with my bacon, sir. Sorry. Oh, oh man. Oh. Remember last time you get the double boot? They, they looked, they were insane. They were like the whole, it was actually too many blueberries, remember? Yeah. I have a hard time believing anything. No, I mean, the, the pancakes were like blue. They were like, it's like they're made out of Smurf. I don't know what's better. Blueberries or pancakes? That's much worse, okay? <laughs> well, we're doing the best we can. We're doing the best we can here. Yeah. Yeah. This, maybe the wire is not good. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what we talk about while we eat. We can take turns. This <laughs> mighty good rattle. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. We were, I was actually, I don't know if we were, I was very hungry, so we got a, a big popcorn. We, we hit, uh, I ate the, the, the end of it there, but we ate most of it pretty good. Now he's saying it's much better. Okay. Maybe it wasn't plugged in tight. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah. All right. Well, it all worked out. All right. Well, thank you, Seth. We appreciate it. Yeah. And, and as I mentioned, though, uh, festivals in general, like it's really cool if you go to a really big one, um, like Fright Fest and, and these things. But for me, there's something about a festival is all in one stream because you have the community feel everyone's there watching all the movies together and then afterwards they, they either meet up outside you talk a little bit you go to the after party um there's just something about that and i uh the community feels a real big part for me uh, at this festival and uh buff is definitely one of those buff renegade first time being there uh recently also oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Well, yeah, these blueberries are almost still frozen. 
<laughs> they were fresh and cold. It is very warm in here, and I, even for me, and I, I'm a, I get cold easily. But it's actually a little warm here. This side is coming at us. Yeah, I'm cheating and having pancakes. They're really good. Huh? I said I'm cheating and having pancakes, but they're very good. I don't even put syrup on them. I feel a little kind of good. So, let's see. Since anyone else here, I uh, know there's actually more viewers, but uh, you're the only person I commenting at the moment. Oh, I see the viewers. Hello, so, what do you guys think of Neil starting a Patreon to help Patreon and Patreon so we can help cover the costs of this fine new service? Yeah, I would appreciate it. And I'm not saying you have to or whatever, but if you know. I thought, you know, stuff like a uh, shout out on the shows, names and credits. I, I'm not big on um, doing shows that are only behind paywalls because I like the idea of people being everyone being able, especially interviews. Yeah. Because if someone's doing an interview, um, what's the point of them coming on and plugging a movie if um, only a certain uh, audience can hear it? Oh, oh see? Encouragement. Start it now. Start it. All right. Well, thank you. So be your thunderstorm morning. Start it now. I'm going to do it right this moment. We can do it live here on the show. Oh, yeah. Seth, do you have any questions about our festival? Yeah. Or anything? Because, yeah, there's still, for anybody who is thinking about going, there's still two more full days. There's lots of stuff left. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some big movies coming up. Uh, Sunday, the uh, one I really want to see is um, Angry uh, Black Girl and mm -hmm. Monster, which I've heard. I love the idea of it. I'm a big fan of Frankenstein. Everyone knows it's a modern Frankenstein movie. And it's, it, from what I understand, it's really um it's about the uh, the, the doctor here. interesting Stole through their eyes you just interviewed the guy yeah i interviewed the guy who plays the uh the dad of the of the doctor and if anybody wants to see the interview right uh without your head.com so i'm listening to spotify which i get better uh, at rates on you can also listen on YouTube, watch on YouTube, and if you just want audio, there, it's on pod, it's on uh, Apple Podcasts. I would, I, I would, I would go to Spotify or uh, or, or YouTube. What's it? Pencil, sugar there for you. Well, Bing gets a lot of chance to talk with a lot of people, honestly. Yeah. So looking around. What kind of guy is uh, what kind of what kind of dude does he look Studley. Studley. He likes the Studley athletes. The clean cut Studley athletes. Oh, I'll just say me, but I'm not going to cut Oh, he was complaining about those subtitles again. I think it's funny that they're crazy. Kind of reminds me of a show you want to do. It's the pink killer effect. I'll just leave it there. Mm -hmm. We were oh, hearing about, but I am also going to have the director of uh, this movie on soon too, which I'm mm. <laughs> so all right. It'll be next month. We could do it this month. Uh, so what else did we see? We saw a bunch of shorts. So we saw a bunch of shorts, and then we saw the documentary. Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Morgan. I'm going to rewatch it. Mr. Morgan. Um, it's crazy. And this man, I don't think I'll ever rewatch. We we Sorry. we talked about that earlier. I do. I would. I would watch something else by the director. Or, or even the actor. Because I do think um, they showed a lot of um, a lot of potential. It was very well, I think the, um, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I, I like the themes. Just, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. Um, 
And then the last short spot. Trigger warning. Big Which fan of earwigs. As I thought it would be. No, me Not neither. Say it was bad. It just wasn't bad. I was a big fan of earwig. Earwig was excellent. I, feel like I remember at a previous one I was at, there was one. Which <laughs> I had a fun experience watching it. So it was a, it was a, it had it has a legit hardcore sex in it. And what was funny was no one in the crowd expected this. So it's like things progressed. Like you could feel just this uneasy feeling and awkwardness. And then some people started to leave. And that experience actually just, I enjoyed the experience of people like leaving. And being, yeah, yeah. I like that. But um, it was actually, it was actually, well, my short, it's about this, uh, this, like, I was going to say a wood nymph, but they were like a monster version of the wood nymph. So it's a woman who's like, who, who uh, tackles this dude and has the way that they got. <laughs> like, I mean, it was just a great was, I didn't expect that in the theater at all. It was like a 15 minute, like, short. But I mean, oh, the, 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 there, was, there was different sections. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. It just reminded me. I don't remember the short, but the dudes watching the park. Yeah, that was a weird short. Top watch. Top watch. Uh, top. I think it was spot. Top watch. Top. Well, yeah, it was a uh, short. It was very weird. These two like. Fans, young women, 30 ish year old women come out of their place and they think they're going to get in the limo. That's amazing. Women are taking them to this fancy event. So the limo is kind of like strutty, and the guy gets out, the little guy is like, his shirt's funky, and everything is just not. Yeah. You said it looks like flat and silly for you. It tastes better. It does taste better. Yeah. I when you're a child, you're going through or an adult, I guess, and you're going through all the different like, Plato's, plays, um, yeah, so these two women, I don't think this is a big spoiler. No, no. So they get in the car and they're pitching them and the car is all covered in like just dirt. Like, we need to get this car washed because we're going to be so everybody's going to look at us. Yeah, like, they wouldn't think they'd even be allowed in the restaurant they were going to because their car was such a, a, such a bomb. Yeah. So they're being super rude. And they're going to go past this car wash. And like, it's right there. It's right there. So the guy ends up going into this like small like residential parking lot, like a five car parking lot. Like slides in it. Oh, so the car like slides in it. And uh, these two scantily clad dudes come out with those big, like white yeah, so, eggs yeah. from <laughs> like on the dance or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and like a little crop. And then, like a white bikini, female bikini top, and the bottom. Uh -huh. One had underwear on, and one did this. Yeah, it's, it's, well, so we could pull it off. We pulled it off. The, the one guy pulled the dude's shorts off. He, he, he I feel weird, but he knelt behind him and pulled his, his, his shirts off. His shorts off. And then, well, they were very slinky. Yeah, maybe these, are, maybe these are maybe these are potential too. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. yeah, I like it. I like this. I like it. Wow. So, uh, yeah, these these two guys are the car wash, and I thought this is so funny because this really is. Yeah. Like you would see women do this, but they're like, oh, mm, yeah, the car. it does put it like, and then, like they literally. What a dumb, like, you know. It's, yeah, it's just what women do and stuff. So they, at one point, they lay, like, on the, on the windshield of the car, and they're, like, rubbing. <laughs> and it's really, like, it's so, it's very, I thought it was very funny. I like it, too. Good job. Yeah.
It was, yeah, I didn't it was expect like it. It, was, it wasn't something I expected. Yeah, no. down a <laughs> it wasn't something I expected at a festival <laughs> like this, but it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get to book our last ones. Oh, it was yeah. an interesting way they did it. I think it's a good way. It's for the shorts, so there'd be like a block of, I don't know, maybe 10 shorts. You scan the code and go to the site, and then you would just rank your top three. They'd show you all the shorts, and you'd just rank which ones were your top three from like your favorite and on down. But then for the movies themselves, you would rate each one individually and rate it on a five star scale, right. which then they will calculate magical calculations and so on. <laughs> And then figure out which one I actually ranks the best. I like it too. Yeah. But as we were saying outside, I think, um, I don't think we were recording at the time. We were talking about how the only problem with it is like during the shorts, the first set of shorts, there were some really, really funny ones. Um, ones that like, there, there are just different elements where, okay, this one's maybe not the most amazing, it's not the most perfectly shot, but it's right. hilarious. It's sure. really good. Yeah. So have a category of like the funniest would be very good. I um, agree. That's hard to manage, but yeah, it is a lot. They were so different, it's hard to uh, compare them. Yeah. Unless, so, you, unless you just had it, you're just your most entertaining, I guess. Kind of how we we um, rate the movies on dinner and movie. I do think it would, yeah, it would definitely help if some of them were, um, I don't know how many awards. It's like, because I think those girls, well, I guess it depends on how people are going to choose to read them, because you move that Elbow. <laughs> um, I guess everybody rates things differently. So some people yeah. are going to rate the funniest ones. I just feel like the funny ones are and should still be in the running for earning awards for the whole reason that they're made. They're not. With the people in ranking those, I have a crush on this guy. They know you're not the most Well, maybe some of them are beautiful looking. Generally, the funnier ones are not. Yeah, they have different. We're trying to showcase different things to other different talents. The one with uh, Seth Catfield, that was so fun. With the three monsters. Who was me down, man? We'll have to find this uh, short for set. For the world. I had a good time, and they got in the car. Good time was had by all. Don't stop. Keep going. It's such a part of the entertainment. Please continue to make crazy comments. It's it's actually probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what else do we have? Let's see. News because I am terrible. <laughs> There was one that had mixed emotions about Spanish because the woman who was pregnant we thought, you know, was right, yeah. I thought that started so strong. I agree. So it's, just, it's very serious. And it's a woman, and she's telling memories of childhood about how her and her family uh, would be locusts all over the place, and she was very scared of them. And there'd be so many, they'd be driving home at night, the lights would be cast out, and she could see all the locusts. But she, and then if the window was down a little bit, she could hear the crunch of the locusts on the top of the car. And she was afraid that the locusts would eventually come to her. And the therapist was like, well, why did you say you can't do? And she said, because I'm the one who actually cares. So I could have done something. You know? And then, like, in my mind, I'm in this, and she's pregnant, and she's concerned that, you know, <laughs> Yeah, that's part of why she's going to be haunted by locusts. And 
I don't know what's going on. Now he can't hear us. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's happening here, sir. Hello. It's happening. How about now? Hello. It's really weird because we didn't do anything. I know. Anything you see Maybe I got in the way. Try speaking directly. How about this? That's not. Hello. No. Is this a necessary? No. Oh, this part. Yeah. Well, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Way up. I don't have any way to close. This is not a way to do this. This is not, <laughs> this is not good. Yeah. Is that better? Guess what? I guess that's yes. better. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for being patient with us. Yeah, Sat audience. Yeah. <laughs> We're still figuring it out. And it yeah. is really easy. Especially in the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's okay. They're entitled to it. Oh, yeah, of course. So, so the yeah, when we did outside, there wasn't the interference. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the locust one, I liked it. It looked really good. The ending didn't go the way I expected. No, I do have lab mics if you want to tell lab mics. You guys are best here. Thank you for being here. Who knows? 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 <laughs> I would, but we, they would make us leave. So, so we can't do that. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay
<laughs> we appreciate uh, everyone that's uh, trying to help us out. Yes. I appreciate you guys Especially coming around too. I know it, well, there was no set time or anything, so we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. You know we're just this is not an Illuminati symbol. The freaking guy thinks everything is. So recently we were and there's a picture of us doing this. Okay. Um and one of uh they're friends with me on Facebook, but they definitely know Neil better than I do. Yeah, but he's actually not even unfriended me what? like a couple of years ago. Yeah. No. Why are you unfriended? I don't know. He zooms in at my wrestling oh. show quite often. Huh. He, he took a, he shaved his head live on in your head. He took the live shower on in your head. What? See now, Seth, you've gone too far. Yeah, well, I can't actually yeah, look at that. Send it to me because yeah. my phone is over here now, so I can yeah. try to keep up with whatever, whatever. Stop. Seth. So now I love you, Seth. Now but your like, stuff is like popping up on the screen. He says he can't see it. Just so All right. We're just going to have to go with it and yeah. hope for the best. We did have someone earlier who screamed like too bad. That was So, wish me the best. I don't see any weird projectile bomb. I don't know. Something very important, I bet. I'm sure it was not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's about the. Uh, it was about the. Yes, um... that's what it was. Oh, right, right, right. But even before that, we, yeah. we were talking about that one short you were split on. And I agree because oh, yeah. I didn't really understand yeah. like, the and it started to get kind of comical way. That I got... Kind of, yeah. yeah. I felt like very odd. Uh, the beast was really creepy. Yes. Almost looked like something from the descent. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought it would be, I could have been effective just having a lot of like, I thought having like this would have been. But it was so good short. Yeah, yeah, it's good. The, also, uh, the one I mentioned, the um, it's super short, but I loved it. Was uh, earworm? Oh, that was. And I guess that's going to be on, uh, or it is on uh, Adult Swim. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just real short. It's uh, these guys, guys. These guys have a cassette that says "Do not listen," and they yeah. listen. And the dude's just like losing his mind. Well, the earworm is like there's an actual earworm. Oh yeah, that not, like, yeah, right. On them. Yeah, exactly. For any of you who've seen Philip on them, it's not like my girl. She's got married. Yeah. Seek it out. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. It's a great, great visual short, super short, and then uh, and then they uh, somehow gets outside, and a little girl finds it. Yeah. He just melts away, but that's the total spoiler. But it's super short. There's no way to talk about it without spoilers. And it looks cool. Everything about it's cool. Yes. It's great. Very fun. Set plays crazy loud music. Literal evil worm in your ear. Killed one guy and made a girl's face melt. Exactly. That's my note. Yeah, face melting's always good. And there's nothing we can say to spoil it because it's so. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so really intensely it. visual and. Audio is also very intense. If you like the sound of it, you're gonna like it. It's, it's, it's actually um one of the later ones. I don't know how to pronounce it because it was another foreign one, but it was like Sizzle. Yeah, yeah. It was, that was really cool, and I'm sure I'm getting that wrong. Yeah, it's like this big weird, like it's not a cocoon, but you're on. Kind of. Yeah. It was like this. So this couple. Ended up that, was, that one had a lot of production done. It was beautiful. Yeah, this couple, a young couple, they end up going out to the middle of wherever. I don't know, Norway? I, I feel bad. I don't remember what it was like. It was, somewhere out there, European place with mountains and such. 
has to be done. That's a very striking. She's like this really tiny, um, her lovely mature woman with super long hair. She's always very flashy. Oh, you're wrong. I, like, I just thought it was funny when you were coming up. You're like, you're just wearing a t-shirt and you wear something extra. Well, yeah, because sometimes, you know, no, it, it, I don't want to be like I agree, I agree, fancy. I agree. But if you're fancy and I'm like a scrub, right, we're right, I don't want to make you really weird. I agree. That's that's weird. So this young couple, they go in the country for whatever reason, and they stay with this older woman who's like her, her husband died, and she needs friends put up, and she, they're going to care for the, for the and stuff. And um, so the older woman is showing them around all the things that they're going to do while they're there. And so they look at all the stuff, and then they go into this barn, and she's like, "Here's the even flirting." Yeah. Yeah, it's like this, and it's this giant like alien cocoon thing that's dripping ooze. Yeah, she's like, check this out. And she pokes it. Yeah, and like starts dripping. Like goop. Uh, she's like, you get used to the smell, and it's just I don't want to spoil that. No, one. yeah, because it's actually a long. Uh, so some of the shorts are, you know, like a couple minutes or something, but this is like a, you know, a longer short. We're going to have to put uh, titles and stuff in because no one's going to, like, we can tell you this, be like, oh, that sounds really cool, but you're not going to find. Right. I, I can't, I don't, I can't look at my notes. Yeah. I didn't take your notes because of that reason. Well, you would like to regale the audience with some wonderful stories and continue to talk about Buffett. I will look up the titles. Yeah, so Buffett had really cool shirts. Um, they had some uh, uh, previous shirts, which were really nice. They had the one, I couldn't remember if I have it or not, the one from when uh, uh, they played Hail Satan, which I was at that one. And then um, I have a I have a thing that says, like, I survived the, uh, the Black Mass at, at, at Buff. From what I understand, I probably should say. I understand they caused some issues with other things in the area. But it was it was a cool experience. And uh, Hail Satan's really good uh, documentary. It was not there. Maybe that was a year we filmed on Billy Kiss. I did not go. Sorry, there are no. I don't have tickets on this schedule, man. Yeah, so uh yeah, Buff. So um mentioned earlier uh, Miriam had her um short um Petunia play. And it's really cool because I've known her for years here from, from Boston Underground Film Festival. And I believe this is her first short that played here. Please. It's very cool. Yeah. So I know that had to be a really good experience for her. Yeah. <laughs> now my feature might sure did make it here, but it was a year it was canceled. Yeah, that's too bad. Because that was really fun. Anyway. So I really think I'm the curse uh, of uh, <laughs> of launch over. Everything they've ever made played here except for a Billy Kiss. What it played on my yeah, yeah. The, 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 we did talk about that after because the movie you're involved in is what? two movies. Yeah, it's two and a half hours. Of time. Time. And you can't just show one, you have to show one. That's a lot of time. Yeah. I obviously they did just show one in South Africa, but I, uh, I agree. It's yeah, really too much. I think they. Well, I want to say just end zone two, actually. Yeah. I could be wrong. That's interesting. I don't. Interesting. I was told I was. Honestly, I'm not trying to be honest. I was told that I was really over. You were really what? People really loved me. That's what they told me. I mean, a friend of mine ran it. Yeah. 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 Shorts. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Like it's, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to be. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, I like that. Exactly. There was so much. And it, 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 was, it was really the same, the same idea over here. 
delivery is the new Locus one. Yeah. Oh, no. I think you're from We're Spain. We're all getting older, my friends. Yeah, we started doing this Benjamin Buttons out there. Uh, yeah. It's been over 10 years since it all started. So, so delivery is Manuel Ortiz Lopez. I am A N O L Ortiz or T I Z Lopez. And so many people were there, which we missed a Q and A, but that, that was very cool to see that a lot of the filmmakers. Were there. When we come in, it was just finishing. Oh, man. <laughs> it might have just been an introduction. Anyway, the, the film, a lot of the filmmakers. Go to the hospital. Earworm is by Brian R. Ferguson. Two minutes. I will also, okay, so the, uh, there's like a little ad thing. Delivery was locust. Those suckers are never a good sign. Hey, Neil and Ambo. Hello. We, hey, we, person. We don't know who you are, yeah, so yeah, let us like, know who you us, are. Because right now, all we see is Facebook. Yeah. You probably see you, but we don't see you. Yeah. But hello. Yeah, we person. see the YouTube names, but not the Facebook names for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, Earworm, you really have to listen to the song. AJ, AJ Zila. Oh, hey, AJ. Hey. I just saw you were out with your kid recently. I hope you guys are having a great time together. You seem like you're more than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh, that was weird. Oh, I, yeah, was, I, I was very confused. Yeah, I didn't that. really get the did it. Yeah, so Bond is this woman has a rocky relationship with her sister. Her sister works like in the beat. Yeah, maybe it's a common thing in the country. I don't know. So the the sister comes in to the meeting place, and then there's a whole thing with like, well, maybe there's some see some of these things might have some meaning that we don't understand. Because like, there's a a woman who's uh, a little masculine. The the sister comes in. Person Lou, who actually I thought was going to be the guy first right. because of the way they introduced Lou, punching the stuff and everything. Yeah. But then, like, the person out front, the bartender, was like, Ooh, someone's here to see you. And all of a sudden, this hand starts fishing around the sink for a uh, menstrual cup. So there's blood all over the place. I'm like, why is this? And I thought that would mean something, but maybe it did. Yeah. And I don't know. It was very, very weird. It was shot well, so I just didn't yeah. it. Yeah. So the uh, sister that came in, not Lou. I don't see the peculiar name. I didn't. I didn't um, she's like, my boyfriend's a monster. He's becoming a monster. And the sister's like, well, I don't want to hear it. You take advantage of me all the time. Go close to And, uh, I guess oh, the yeah, boyfriend's yeah, yeah, actually yeah. a monster and like in the meat packing area. And it's very weird because it's so the Lou, the sister, realizes that the monster's in the building. And then she ends up dropping all fours to run to get him. Yeah, I didn't. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but she doesn't turn into it. I don't know. It's very, it was very strange. I didn't understand it. And then there was like a bite mark on someone. And, and the girl had a bath. Yeah. Like so, I just feel like I was missing something. Yeah. I'm lost in translation. Uh, actually, AJ and his son, uh, Xander. Oh, nice. Go to, uh, Boston. Nice. Go to Boston. Nice. Very cool. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Yeah, like, like cool, food, so cool places. Yeah. Which we talk about. Yeah. Just don't try to go anywhere to eat at two in the morning. Right, yeah. That's a yeah, after midnight. Really, after 10, it's hard, but after midnight, it's so much Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, don't, I can't remember how old this song is, but. Sorry, I gotta. Every once in a while, there'll be maybe like a pop up of that kind of happening. Um, oh, so that one that was used from Norway is maybe Tieselbu. Aha, yes. T I S T L E B U from Simon Michael Valentine. What is the true nature of nature? And it is from, it is from Norway. Is that what it says? Uh, <laughs> Good job. Go me. 
Xander Sturkey, I guess so. He's not going to be hanging out with Tua. Oh, it's Pop. I thought it was Pop. Because it's Pop. Man, the Pop. 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 I get it. And pretty cool is one that was caught in Atlanta. Yeah, it was very cool. And that is up the Disney honeymoon phase of love right up until it's yeah. That was really well made. You go, Jan. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. The Ennis Men is Jimmy K from Mark Jenkins. And all right, so let's see if you can tell us. Like in a nerved law school or from the Cornish coastline. Mark Jenkins' second film is written holy creation to behold. Frightening and engrossing in equal measure, this love letter to horror cinema will resonate deeply in your soul. In 1973, on an uninhabited island off the Cornish coast, a wildlife volunteer observes a rare flower daily, noting any changes. However, she'll slow, she'll, however slowly, she'll become aware of other forces coming on crossing her into a journey where the real and the imagined combine to emerge as one frightening true world. Shot on 60 millimeter, the best sound design of any film this year, and it was quite excellent. Yeah, it looked good. Definitely looked good on 60 millimeter. Yes. And it's meant to close as you can get an immersive experience within cinema, a psychedelic, mind-altering, supernatural story that will leave you changed. And that was written by yeah, Evram. Evram. My, my, my boy, Evram. Evram's a cool guy. I like Evram a lot. Well, that's what Evram has to say. Yeah, I don't know about your opinion, but Evram, I, I, uh, I, I like it. Yeah, I'll just run through these because we didn't get a chance to get into the depth. Evram runs this really cool thing at Fright, at Fright Fest. Um, I forgot. I'm, I will. I cannot remember the name of it. But it's a very peculiar thing that's in, a, in, in like a smaller theater, and it's late at night. And like, so what he does, he's up there and he invites all the filmmakers to come up. And, and beforehand, he had asked them all to send in like just strange videos. So people are like, Whoa, anything, anything, it's up to them. So yeah. people and he and he didn't tell which one he picked. So everyone said it like three or four. But not like films, just weird. Yeah, they could be. It was like some were commercial, some were videos, music videos, um, movie trailers, clips of movies. And then they, he brings them up. Your choice of shot of blues, you know, like vodka, bourbon, whatever. And, uh, and then he showed the thing, and it was just, it was a really fun night. Um, and it's very nice because he also included me because I was, I was there with Michael Sabina and he's like, Neil, get up here too. Oh, he was, so it was really good. Very good. Good man. Yeah, I, it was, and it's, I forget the name of it. Um, I, I looked it up on my Facebook. It, and then I joined the group because he has a, is a, a group that's dedicated to it. It's just all very weird. It's our videos. Yeah. I liked it a lot. It would be Throw definitely, it, it, would definitely it kind of felt like something uh, like when we would share videos. Like, yeah, you know. nice. but yeah, but yeah. in a theater, people, so it's very cool. And I and I, and I also um, respect all the filmmakers that went to that because it was it was you know, the more like underground kind of vibe. And so only the coolest of the weirdos, or maybe the weirdest of the weirdos. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, unless cool. you're Mr. Oregon, then you're weird. Mr. Oregon, you and from director David Ferrier. Director David Ferrier took us to the edge of sanity with his previous documentary, Tickle, which found something sinister behind the curtain of a tickling competition and its organizer. However, with Mr. Oregon, he takes us over the edge and once again faces human being who seems to contain a darkness within them that engulfs anyone that enters their world. What starts as a story surrounding Ashford Antiques, a small shop in New Zealand that became notorious for clamping cars and issuing out Ravis Fines turns into a portrayal of Michael Gordon, a strange and sinister man whose facade hides so many twists that you'll not know what to think by the end. 
To reveal any more would be a disservice to Farrier's ingenious film. Just know that you're not likely to see a more outrageous and disturbing documentary this year. Also in the we well, must be right at all the way. Yeah. Now you were questioning whether or not this is a legitimate. Well, anyway, um, um, he also says there's a uh, horror convention coming near us in August. Sci-fi horror show. Where's that? Yeah, I believe it. I think that's age. I'm not sure. Let us know uh, what it is. Yeah, I'm curious. Though. Uh, Mr. I wonder what tickled was. Also, a documentary. Is Mr. Morgan Real? <laughs> The film was a result of a three year investigation. Ferrier first reported on the story of Dash Ran in September 2016 in the article for the spin off. As a result, Ferrier's original story, the New Zealand government introduced legislation outlawing excessive clamping fees. Clamping is, if you didn't see earlier, it's if a car is wherever it's not supposed to be. Uh, they can put, we here call it a boot. It's like a big metal thing that goes around with the tires and so cannot physically leave the vehicle. Um, New Zealand government introduced legislation on outlawing excessive plant fees. The film was announced by Fair in his blog in June 2020, originally with the title Plant. Fair described the documentary's production as a difficult ordeal, stating that it sucked. It fucked me. I had my time again with this. I guarantee you I would not do it. Because that is our sociopath, on a human being. It's really. I got into that quite deeply. I won't get into it again. If you want to see how deeply I go into it, you can follow the trail of breadcrumbs back to a Facebook brand or wherever. I don't know if you're going to upload all that to YouTube or whatever. They're already on YouTube. The one earlier wasn't. The one that I didn't oh, like. Oh, okay. I don't think. Well, whatever. Anyway, so. Well, I, think, I think the one we did that was on YouTube. Oh, I didn't think it's possible. So, yeah, what do you think now that you know that it's an actual real Yeah, I'm going to rewatch it. Hard to watch. But y'all can hear about that. Then. Uh, it's going into read through all the thing of the things. But Mr. Organ, yeah. Um, do you want to get a quick rundown? No, I mean, it, was, it wasn't things. for me, but uh, well, I mean, I, just like a rundown. Oh, you just went over it in depth. Oh, well, I guess if they're saying to ruin it, so. Yeah. All right, let's see. Dunn Tours. The Old God. I love that. Get your mojo back. That was the oh, yeah, yeah. commercial. That one was and great. it was really, really yeah. funny. It was like straight out of the gate. You got this. It's so perfect. It, it looks like, like a, a medicine. Oh, yeah. Uh, some kind of prescription crap, but this got this couple and the beautiful home and blah 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 blah. And but so I had a problem, and uh, they solved their problem by getting in touch with the old guy. Funny Samuel Carlson, yeah, might as well. Get your mojo back with a quick and easy sacrifice to your old god. It was great. Um, yeah, it's you and you. I'm Miriam, a couple touring their first home encounters and uncanny presence lurking on the property. That woman who was the real estate person was real pretty. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Her stare in the window at the end is great. Yeah, so yeah. the couple was very cute. Yeah. The two people. Yeah. Well, I assume we're a couple. I was glad I but saw I her because it, it was um it had played actually at the Brattle earlier at a different uh, oh really festival. Um, it was um all female uh, director festival. Oh, cool. the name, I'm sorry. But then it played it was it played in Texas actually the same the same time that we were gonna be at um 
originally we were going to go and see um, South Texas Underground Film Festival. She was, I think she was in Austin or Dallas because she was going to actually come and meet us. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we didn't have to go. But it's played on a lot of festivals around the country. So it's very cool. Dead language. Loved it. Yeah, that that's the one with uh, that set. What? Oh, chat oh, oh, I'm thinking. Of I understand. Uh, that language uh, came from Eric Scott called Alfred. Yeah, this was what this is one of my favorite. I see this whole. I really like this whole block. I like Daniel. Yeah. Uh, Dead language. A group of amateur cultists try to summon a demon, which is a pretty yeah, short and, description. And it's and the, the, so end, funny. the end demon, there's multiple demons. Looks awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Like the first two demons are kind of like yeah. a little silly. Right. It's not the best makeup in the world. They're clear. But they're not that. meant to I'm be. Not insulting yeah. It's just is what it is. But the it's last one's it's so cute. funny. It's about the content. The acting is great. Very funny. Yeah, the last yeah. one is. Sick. Yeah, I love. I love. They even use it as the cover for the Dutch for. They do. Uh, yeah. Thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. Great. The, the whole the 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 big joke and it's great. Every, everything is really works. Topical. Um, I actually thought that was the. Oh, really? In Christmas wrapping, a man, young man searched for a nutcracker in his grandmother's house and was terribly wrong. That was weird. Was that was weird. intense. That was, it was very loud. I think I'm friends with them. Um, no, it was good, but it was very loud. That's when I got out. Like, I think it was just was what it was. I thought the guy just, played the creepy Santa. He did a great. Song. He was very good. Yeah, he did sound like creepy. I don't know if that was intense, but very intense. Yeah. Pray. I remember the name didn't yeah. really didn't quite fit the, what it was. Oh, that was the name with. Oh, okay. Oh, praying man. Yeah. yeah. It's a woman. She's a, like yeah. a black widow, but a praying mantis because praying mantis. So the black widow. Like that. Yeah, but they didn't do that. They didn't do the black widow birth. Pray for praying mantis. Yeah, I don't want to give away a, a book. Hmm? I don't know how to. Say what I was going to say without giving away. Uh, well, uh, well, I'll just say it. the um, movie came out last year, um, Bones and All, which I love, so I went and read the book. The book is much better, actually. So if I did it in reverse, I'm not sure how I would have felt about the movie. But the movie really goes in a completely different direction than the book. And so I loved it when I saw the, 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 uh, the movie. But then after reading the book, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Where did that come from? Uh, Praying Mantis. The, the book is the book is the book is more the book is more for like a praying yeah. mantis. Right. Like, I don't know where it's coming from. You yeah. can keep doing it. The movie is like a love story. It's, it's, gotcha. The book is my is a much bigger. Uh, Hi, hey, by Amber Chilton. An alluring woman preys on the seemingly perfect dungeons of a man who never got up under the fire of that lab, but every choice. Yeah. Or once, but at least once. Oh, I love this one. Last train. Andrew Connolly, a commuter waiting for the train, gets more than he anticipated when he investigates a suspicious package in the trash. I really like that one. Yeah. Is this the one where you got beer spilled on you? Yes. So maybe Neil doesn't. So like yeah, that. yeah. I think I think I missed some of it because I was wiping up. And it, it, so, woman next to next to us was uh, very. Uh, she's intoxicated, and so she's screaming, she's screaming a lot. Yeah, which is funny, which is fun adds to it. But then she, uh, this one, she jumped and spilled her beer all over my legs, both of them. And uh, didn't say her, didn't say sorry or anything, which was that was uh, the worst. Well, I mean, it wasn't good anyway, but that really, uh, if someone says sorry, it's like, well, things happen, but I don't know. Yeah, I can't imagine doing that, about it, and but... not, like, and not saying anything. Yeah, and then it really smelled bad. Which, uh, you know, I don't like, I never, you know, I drank, I never liked to smell beer, so I didn't really want that. Over my no. But 
But that one, it really was good. So if you have a chance, you should watch it again. Yeah, and you yeah. Didn't it was watch very it clever. No, no, very clever. Screen. And I actually thought not the part she's still here on for, but I did think that it was very spooky. Very. And it was shot in somewhere local because I recognize the the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was North Attleboro. It was North something. It was North something. But it was good to see. So. What was 127 area code? Because I I noticed that was in two movies. Yeah, I don't know. And the one I noticed that the. The scratch tickets were, I think, Rhode Island scratch tickets. Maybe it's Rhode Island. They weren't Massachusetts, actually. It might even be made in New Hampshire. But they weren't like Massachusetts, actually. I'm not as familiar with scratch tickets as I Because I don't win like Neil Jones. He's like, I went for a walk and won $100. I went for a walk and won $500. I for a walk and won $100. That is I'll just keep going with my job. <laughs> this, this okay, so I actually I still win a hundred, so I did win a five hundred, two hundred. But when I first started to walk, and I did not believe in higher power, I told us to step to several you people. Have you ever seen the thing in the tree? No. This, this is exactly like that. So to stay motivated, motivated first. Like first, I'd walk down and I'd get like, but the, that didn't really necessarily make a lot of sense. They keep going to get away. Right. But anyway, so then I started to walk down to the grocery store, which is only about a mile away, and I'd get by a scratch ticket. And I'm not joking, every week I'd win multiple hundreds, a hundred dollars, at least twice a week. I won 500 several times, 200 something, and I won a thousand. And the rest of us keep going to our damn job. But the point was, it was for the first three months that I was walking and I won this. Like, it was really, really great. Several, it was 1,000 two or three times where you have to go cash it in at the, uh, at the, uh, yeah, and now you can do it on your app, but now you had to go cash it in the Bedford and many hundreds, hundreds like all the time, 200 times. And looking back, I think it was weird because I think that get me motivated to keep walking the change that ended up changing my, my life. And it it was true. The so I'm glad place. you won your money. If for nothing else, because I'm envious of being so lucky. But you're alive, and that's important. So yeah. I'm cool with you winning all that money. But you're alive. Yeah. You're not hospitalized or missing limbs or heart attacks. Everything is good. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was yeah. off the charts bad. But anyway, here we go. But here you are, you're doing good. Funny. It actually helps uh, scratch tickets. People sometimes will get mad at me for posting before I have to picture stuff like that, but whatever. But um of course, looking better is great, but uh, being healthy is is more important. And it really helps your mental. mental. It really also meant, uh, helps your mental well-being. For me. Yeah. I and very, but you also uh, lost weight. I think you went a little bit extreme first when you were like injuring yourself after you got hurt. But. Overall, I think you in a very healthy way. It was walking and, you diet. and it's not like you just cut back, you actually started eating healthier things. Yeah, not just like yeah. cutting calories. No, honestly, it's, it's, yeah. really you have to still eat good things. I mean, you, yeah. you can eat well and if you starve yourself, you're going to be and you can still eat crop sometimes, like some pancakes. Um, one of the things I remember from a very short conversation with a dietitian when I was in the hospital, he's like, so if you eat like a cheeseburger, pizza, all this stuff every day, and you have a salad one for lunch on Wednesday, it's not going to really do anything. But if you eat really, if you eat healthy all week, and then you have a cheese, it's, the opposite is also true. So you can eat, you know, real good, and then hey, once in a while I'll have uh, whatever you want. Yeah, you know, it's not going to affect you adversely. Yes. So, Neil's alive. 
and still winning money. Yeah, not nearly. Uh, you go to the casino and like, I want three thousand dollars. That was a few months ago. I'd like to win three thousand dollars like once in my life. I've never won three thousand dollars. I think the most I ever won. I want a computer in six. That was because you were telling me. Yeah, that was. That was an experience. Spraying them up. Well, was, they picked it, but I had seventeen to eat. This third. Oh yeah, last train was very, very good. I didn't enjoy it. That was my peak year. The six. Rest stop. Oh, um, okay. okay. Uh, after a long, okay. Rest stop by Eric. Oh, it was like got like a super Polish name. Yeah, that, was, that was that was that was that was by the one two seven production. I E L A K I E W I C Z. They had a really cool um like logo video for their uh, production company. After a long night of partying, college students confront a mysterious entity in the rest stop. Which I actually thought the mysterious entity inside in the darkness was very cool. It was another time that we Yes, yes, very much. Anyway. I get it, but it was a little weird. I thought people laughing at like the drunk driver. Yeah, people it. did laugh at the drunk driver. <laughs> That's so true. Because <laughs> the guy like drives into this gas station restaurant and uh, opens the door to his vehicle and was like, Alcohol containers spilling out. I borrowed a truck once from my friend stepfather, who had also been my friend, to help me actually move to uh, Somerville Street. And there I am with my friend. We're in this truck, and I realized that, in, like, so it's just a small truck. So there's two front seats, and there's like a little gap behind that you could put like maps and things. Just, yeah. beer just like heaps of beer cans, <laughs> which I didn't even notice yeah, because yeah. I wasn't like, oh, let's look behind the seats. Oh, and then it started jingling around. Like, so, yes, it does happen. This could be some of you know. Like, rest stop. Reverberance by Alex DiVincenzo. It doesn't sound familiar to me. An ordinary day becomes unsound, triggered by strange oral phenomena. I feel like I feel like it broke. It must be a short one, it's three minutes. I don't know. Uh, something I don't remember. Maybe I was good I feel like I wrote something. It was before. Oh. All right. This was the one with the woman when she was at her house and she was like putting food in the bird feeder. You heard, like, oh, crow, and right, right. Woods, so check it out. And there's like yeah. slime on the like, yeah. slime on the bird house. Yeah. And there ended up being a monster involved. So yeah, that would here's be the, the problem with like I thought that was actually pretty good. Um not flawless, but I thought it was pretty good. The problem I have with it is that so there was Last train has uh, a thing with the face. Mm -hmm. Rest stop has a thing with the face. With the Reverberance face. has a thing with the face. It's like there are all these things with faces in a row. And I think rest stop. Is yeah. So it's like back, back, back. back. The rest stop also had a thing with sound. Like there was a lot of things in that, those three movies right. that were similar. I thought that really should have been Because yeah. yeah. then by the time I saw Reverberance, I was a little bit like, the, mm, yeah. I felt like it, yeah. it wasn't helpful. I mean, you guys are amazing. I'm not yeah. trying to like shit on a uh, Penny, yeah. Rachel yeah. S. Thomas, yeah. 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 16 minutes of email chefs attempts at romantic yeah. connection are thwarted by dark impulses. I've seen this one twice now. It was, uh, so the uh, first time I saw it, I did do it, and I didn't quite understand the uh, the end. That, you know how, what what the, like the whole meaning was. So this time when it came on, I was like, I'm gonna really pay attention. Yeah, so that much. Was and I, I liked it. I, I still not exactly sure what it means. I'd seen it uh, for the first time tonight, yeah. and 
as I was watching it, I'm like, this is so bizarre. There's this woman, she's a very pretty woman, she's got a very nice house, and she has a date come over, and you can see it's like a series of dates. Yeah, some of them and, have to go better than others. Yeah, but in general, she gets along with the guy, cooks them a meal, everything's going okay. And then she brings out dessert. And I don't think it's spoiler either because yeah, you see it like yeah. instantaneously. It's this beautiful plate, decorative. It's almost like a little clock. Pedestal, like this tiny little pedestal. Yeah, it is. It looks like it is a clock. I'd love to have that pause. It almost looks like blood. And, yeah. And she turns it in a way. But although if I made food and I did a little presentation, I would also. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was turned so it was 12 at the top. So this probably is, I think this probably is a movie that has a lot of actual yeah, yeah, yeah. potential yeah, yeah. meaningful things, oh, yeah. which I appreciate because I think, you know, I'm not psychic. I don't necessarily, maybe that's not the case. Maybe someone's like, this seems cool and just like, good, <laughs> put it out there. And sometimes maybe some people yeah. have very high intentions of making something in the control, but maybe I, I miss it. Maybe Skinny Mike maybe isn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, so she brings out this plate to the dude and to all of the dudes. And there's a little pedestal, a little like dome, like a glass dome. And underneath the glass dome is a single shiny pedestal. And all these guys are like, what is this? And they're not mean about it. Right. Like, I think all of them like her. Yeah. So they try to either be kind of like tricky or like yeah, curious. Yeah, would you give you a penny? You know. Yeah. So she, as soon as anybody says like a little hint of yeah, out acceptance of or just going with it, like just rolling with it, yeah, she, she cuts them off. Um, and then there's some backstory going on. She has some memories of backstory yeah. from childhood and the dad and mom. Mom's got some issues and and do you see her? It was really good. There's a lot. Yeah, I like it. I'm just I'm not exactly sure what it means. I think it could have been a feature. Yeah, I did, yeah. Really, I think you could have developed stories with these guys. I think I really think I you never know what some people's um I was asked on the show. Like, when they make the shorts, because some people do make the shorts specifically make that into a feature, yes. or just to show what they could do to make a feature. You know, different reasons why people make a short in general. But that one did does feel like it could be expanded. Yeah. Because there's a lot of backstory in a it's 16 minutes, but there's a lot of backstory in that fairly short amount of time that could yeah. definitely well and even where they leave it off. They leave yeah. it off this pivotal moment of like her and, and a guy and they're they're getting some chemistry and it yeah, like cuts it's only, it off. It's yeah. the only one that comes back. Yeah, so there's she chemistry happening and it's like that really could go well. So right. I think it would be amazing if uh, Rachel and her people developed that because that was 16 minutes and it didn't feel yeah, at all. 16 minutes is yeah. a good chunk of an yeah, hour. Yeah, there is sometimes, yeah, well, that, so, that, that could be a long story. The Watcher. I feel like this was awesome. Nathan the last remaining member of small religious cults. Wait, oh, this one was so good. Yeah. Awaits the resurrection of recently departed disciples. That one uh, was definitely right. yeah, so good. I just remember it being really good. Um, it's been a while since we watched it, but I, I, I think it actually was. Do you like a reminder? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember it was either one I did vote for in three in the top three, or I had it. There, there was quite a few there. It was like five or so that I was like. Oh. That one was about. Uh, so you start watching it and you hear a recording of a creature. Oh yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This yeah. one was great. Yeah. Yeah. Enoch. Yes, Enoch. And he's telling his followers the things that you hear from when preachers are not all preachers are equal. And this guy is it's a cult. And he's talking about uh, you know the watch the watcher is supposed to stay. And so basically, again, not a spoiler because it starts out right away. It's kind of like a cabin. It's very country and it's very pretty and plain. And and so there's all these beds, and each one of these beds is a body. One of them has two people, 
and we're covering with a nice crisp white sheet, and there's a woman who's alive, and she's tending to all of these vibes. She's like washing the feet, and there's nice floral arrangements on top of people. The whole time you're listening to this preacher talking. And I don't know how much I want to tell. I yeah, love it, could, it. and yeah, I think the great. thing that comes next is something that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. And it's so pivotal to what happens. So, yeah, it is great. It was, uh, I, I usually like cult free stuff in general. So I like the name Enoch. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, you know, for you. Yeah. I think that's for a reason. No, I do think it. Well, you don't see hear your hair very often. I believe that's. Uh, I think that's his name in. Um, um, Four Rock Empire. Is it? I didn't see the whole series. It was mm, good. That's great. Uh, was that the Michael Shannon character? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh no, no, but but he's. He was great. Yeah. yeah. I think and it's the name. Skin and Bone by Eli Powers. A drifter experiences haunting oh, yeah. visions after taking a job on a second. This was another. This was great. Powerhouse. Yeah. This is. It uh, was, Awesome. This uh, huge production value looks like a like a really well, you know, like, like a top-notch movie. Looks look great, uh, great acting. Ah, oh, and right from and, the beginning, yeah, they like had you watching like it a, to know, oh, you know like we got to see this goes. It's a good uh, like uh, I know people kind of use over the overuse. I think the term folklore, but this is a, I think a, a good folklore. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Because it's animals. Well, I think she's like. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But the end there is just perfect. Yeah, it's great. There's like a physical attribute. I can't even say it. This is another one. It's yeah, like it's the ending is so about. beautiful. And but, I don't well, want it. It's basically, it, yeah, well, it is two characters. But the, um, oh, it keeps, they, when you have two characters, they both have to like really deliver for, you know, because the two people are watching. So right away, you're really intrigued by the guy I think more so because he's a more interested here but then as it goes a, on yeah. like you, you know it's like oh you know what's going on with her it seems like. yeah and their interaction it's really when nice. you kind of wonder where is there because the, so it's a woman has a farm and all these animals to take care of and rolls in and is like hey I'll do the things and she's like okay hang out in the barn he's a bed there yeah it's kind of, kind, old, of kind of an old classic story yeah. of like the, the just the traveling guy who's like the handyman kind of yeah guy. but they're both younger mm -hmm. and normal looking and their, their relationship is kind of contentious and like they both seem like rough yeah like they both seem like they'd be yeah there's definitely like yeah there's <laughs> like you can tell there's a history to the guy yeah. like well there's history to everybody but he just kind of pops up out of nowhere he's not really yeah. sure where, where it came from yeah. why he's, he's just roaming around, around. he's yeah. like a well-spoken yeah person but then like you see like well he's <laughs> you would think oh he's a good guy he could probably you know do something else but then you see well there's some, there has to be something else more to this guy and the how he ended up just the, you know the Roman dude and to say I think it it really speaks to the how well the film is made because you could sit here and say, Well, he's well spoken and he looks like a pretty presentable guy. Now that was intentional. Oh yeah. That's not like that was just like the casting wasn't good and or you didn't write it. Like that was intentional. Here's a guy who's and it shows you know what I mean? Yeah. Like sometimes people are just in a role like that it was meant to be this wasn't supposed to be some like sketchy, right, right. They just then they just cast them. Yeah. Yeah. But that, I mean, that's realistic. It's like, it's, if you see someone who maybe is not, there's something, you know, you, you think, oh, well, this guy, there's, there's something wrong with them. Um, but if, if, there isn't some something, if there isn't something outwardly like wrong with, you know, there's some reason why they are with really but no, it, and it kept you interested in, in, in finding out. Yeah, it was very intense. It was another one that probably could be. Uh, yeah, I think so because there's a lot of stuff. Definitely, yes, totally. Um, 
But that was, you know, because yeah, the there's that, even some little backstory stuff that they go in, a lot of backstory yeah. stuff that they go into, but not too much, and kind of left up to your imagination and stuff yes. on the hill. And the back, like, there was a lot of stuff with reality that was, it, you really question like, yeah, what's, yeah. What, what's what was actually really happening. happening was it, yeah. um, and it was great. Where um, your friend had said about that. Ennis Men one about how it's like psychedelic questioning reality. I don't know if this one was psychedelic. Maybe more like finger dream. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, to me, it's much more powerful. Yeah, it was, it was great dialogue, great delivery. Look beautiful, sound beautiful. Yeah. 17 minutes short. Um, yeah. That, yeah. It's not that long either. I mean, it's longer than, than a lot of shows, okay. but it didn't seem long. No. no. No, it was a, that was a... I'd definitely be interested in more from them. Too. Mm -hmm. one of all. So that was a line of... I think yeah, I, that was really strong. Those, those shorts were really strong. It was like yeah. some fun, lighter hearted ones that were just fun to watch. And then there was like some really great stuff. There. So yeah, that was a... That was probably the highlight for me was this block. Well, it was supposed to be... Brace yourselves for the much horror, a collection of homegrown horror, and leave your delicate sensibilities behind to get some of the mind shredding lineup of New England created verse of terror that will rattle you to the core. Lovingly crafted by our intrepid regional creators from the quaint townships of Vermont to the deep forests of Maine, no space is safe from the disturbing visions creeping up the process of the latest installment procession. Baseless stalkers, yeah, three film procession, faceless stalkers. Insatiable predators and creepy cultists, an eldritch parade fueled by unspeakable sights and sounds. Witness blood rituals and malicious mating, bestial entanglements, and other spine chilling expressions of short form tenor flavored with a heaping old buff of fruit weirdness. Be warned, once you've been exposed to the dark underbelly of the Nor'east, you're forever tainted by Chris Halleck. That was very well written, Chris. Yeah, Chris uh, could not make it here this year. Chris is a really nice guy. Well, that was really. I used to live in the area. He moved out somewhere oh. years ago. When I first started to go, Chris was in charge of all the, the press that he sent out uh, of all my interviews. I hope this doesn't get like banned because I like the song. I actually thought about the song earlier. And I was like, I haven't heard the song in about 500 years. No. Oh, yeah, Chris Alex. Sorry. Who's. Uh, no one's yeah. Yeah. If you're just watching to give us like numbers, I appreciate it. Yeah. Just keep keep it up. <laughs> Make me feel Say good. something. Or just sit there and, and yeah, that's up. true. Depending on how you're watching too. I mean some people just watching you're oh. listening and I mean I, I've done that. Also yeah. And also appreciation because it's very late. It's like that's very true too. So yeah. I'm assuming that probably most of the audience I think we have is nice. Europe yeah. to the East Coast. Right. And probably I'm gonna assume that these four people are from that vicinity. So that's very cool. Thank you. It's appreciated. You yes. guys are awesome. Thank very, you yeah. very this much. This is very fun to do. Yeah. All the festivals, Bob's great. I like hanging out with Annabelle. We always have a good time. Even if we watch stuff we don't like, which was nothing. Well, there was a couple of but, but, uh, but we always have See, I don't want YouTube to be like swiping. Honestly, since we started doing these, I can't think of a bad time. You can't. Until now. This is how I play. Stick out. Um, what else? I didn't get to see people. I was, I was, I will say, I was a little bit uh, bummed out that we didn't get to actually. Well, I do think probably a lot of the thing. cool people upstairs. In the balcony, there's a lot of the cool kids hang out in the balcony. Oh, I'm sure that's where Jim and, and Phil were. Um, 
But yeah, we. The thing is, especially with being there one day, we didn't want to miss the short block. So we didn't want to go to the after party real early, like where most people were. Yeah. So it's a little hard to do. We got there, you know, it's, uh, most people were gone. There yeah. was still, there was still people. Yeah, but not a lot. <laughs> I think karaoke is tomorrow. Night, is it? I think. Oh, I don't know. That's what it normally is, but I don't know if they're even doing this. Um, I should say, I don't know. Well, karaoke is tough in a disease filled world. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know when the last time they actually did it. Mm -hmm. into, I don't they used to do it downstairs at Tasty Burger. I don't know if it's. Didn't it. they do it at Charles? We met at Charlie's last time, last year. Oh yeah, that was Charlie's the that was nice. the final one. Which was nice. I like yeah. that. See, yeah, I think it's probably different every year. So I know two years in a row they did the karaoke downstairs. At, uh, Tasty Burger. Tasty Burger. Yeah, where it's like a bar. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think I went downstairs. Yeah, it's a bar. They can make karaoke. That's a well, I've told this story many times. The first year I, I did a bad. Um, I did my. Monster Mash, and everyone loved it. I thought it was great. Yeah, who got you to do that? Karaoke? Oh, yeah. yeah you. Totally. You were like, no, no, don't no. like Neil. Everybody's going to love you because everybody does. So. Then I did it again the very next year, the same one. I was like, wow, that really sucked. Everyone's like, oh, that's great. And then I realized the difference was the year before. I was, I was like everyone else there, I had much to drink in the second time I did. But everyone else did it. Nice. You always focus on the not everyone. Well, not in the everyone. World. The vast majority. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. That's too fucking nice. <laughs> I mean, come on now. This isn't a 10 day festival like some places are. Yeah. <laughs> they specifically said in the email, no, they're like, if this guy wasn't shame, shame. Oh, um, I hope, I'm sure she won't mind when we were, um, it was in between movies. Melanie Kinnaman, who's in uh, the Once the Future Smash, who's amazing, and will also be in the upcoming uh, Hague Awards without your head, uh, you're in order. She messaged me and she was like a, a new friend, of, a new fan of her. She was messenger saying she's a big fan of her film and she expected to see right at 35. And she told her it's a future smash. But what, you said so part of that so, very fast. So Melanie Kinnaman I got that part. Me that a new well, fan was, of hers yes. messaged her yes. saying that she's a big that fan of her movie. Yep. And she assumed she was going to say gotcha. Friday 13th Part 5, yes. as she said, the ones that That's amazing. That's so it awesome. Very nice. That's very happy. Very cool. Very, very nice. Yeah, the movie's doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm very happy with your, it. Your pair, the movie duo. No, no, it's very it's cool. getting acceptable. I brought, her a lo I brought her a lobster from the pool. You did not. Did you really? Yeah. Did you travel in the pool? Yeah. Wow. How did you even do that? It was a lollipop. And then she went around showing everybody. Some of the people were like, dude, like, what if she's like, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, she, she wasn't going to open it. She's going to keep that for a minute. I actually saw it buried in my freezer. It was funny because anytime I put seafood stuff, she's always, she goes, uh, seafood in, um, in mm -hmm. East Coast, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, mm -hmm. especially lobster rolls. And I joked mm -hmm. that I bring her a lobster roll. And it's like, I couldn't bring a lobster roll. I did bring a lobster. There you go. Seacoast in one has some pretty amazing, delicious seafoods. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a guess? Yeah. So you guys can see this awkward exchange. <laughs> this is a magic cookie. Nice. <laughs> I don't know why more women folk don't use wallets. There's some things I don't understand about women folk. And that is that cool with the, uh, I, so, so. Um, I don't understand this, Look at all you can do. Oh, there's so many things that generally 
Mandy. Do, do you ever, that, uh, ever heard the makes term? Because I grew up with my grandmother always called it a billfold. Uh, oh, the little metal foot. Oh, she even called the wallet a billfold. Oh, really? Yeah. But I guess you do fold the bill. Um, so a family member, male family member, I was out with my family in this big gathering with someone I know super well, and they took out their this guy, took this giant man, Freddie, took out his wallet, which was like you know those black chip clips. Right. There's a black chip clip on cash and and some cards. Like that is amazing. That is a, so minimalist. There's no no of this. I don't know why I went back to that. Put this piece. this up. Show. This is actually small. What is in there? The seats. So this, this is my bus ticket. Yeah, and then Aww. I've got a picture of those. Do a picture oh, having the wallets? Yeah. I got this Rose for my birthday. Sophia and Michael's. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, Charlie cards. Mm -hmm. Credit cards. I do. If you take out the ticket, have it as a wallet. It is actually. It's just a thick one. Uh, yeah, I've got different cards for casinos. He wins that, so you might as well carry them. Got twin rivers. That's hot. Go down. Legion Sun. Win. Uh, I think this is. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yes. Nobody spent it. What'd you do? Thank you. That five dollar bill I kept on it. Some of the, oh, that's my COVID card. I guess when you open it, it's not a big deal. But I kept this old five dollar bill that I that I had because it was the same year of the five dollar of the the year um, Skinny Marine took place. Yeah. I was Which version? The one that they show in the beginning? Because there's more than one date. And you know there's deep meaning to that. Yes. And I kept it in here, but I was going to uh, take a picture of it. For, and, oh, that's what the. Uh, <coughs> this is all from the stuff here. No, but it was. Uh, the, I was wondering why the Megan uh, thing was so long. Oh, yeah. Because it has skin and marine on it. So uh, I have to edit both things. That's exciting. So you guys get to see the review of Megan, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed a lot. The skin and ring. Good lord. <laughs> it's the worst. I, I still, I, if it was on sale, I'm going to buy, I don't know why, it's like in my mind to buy. Buy it? No, buy a t shirt, oh. a black t shirt that's got that stupid phone on it. Which oh, exists, and I, I want to buy like it just to wear it. You're gonna buy like the, the Blu ray or, no. or something. No, it comes up in Facebook ads constantly now because I looked for it once uh -huh. this shirt, and it's like maybe a Oh, that'd be an hour. It's uh, yeah, it's not Disney. Face. It is really hot. Man. Thank you. It is hot. I'm getting hot. Oh, yeah. So I was going to get like just a black one. What are Fisher Price is this? 20% so. off my next order. Where'd that go? We don't, we don't, want, our, we don't want our toys. Like, well, I'm just going to do that. So you never know. Maybe on a future dinner movie without your head presents event. I might be wearing a sweet little picture price phone. 
People can ask me about it. It was a super movie. That's not why I would wear it to like entice people to ask me because chances are most of the people I'm around uh, who would ask me would never watch that movie. Yeah, okay. You can watch better stuff than that. I don't know. So, oh, we won't get this. Let's get a movie. <laughs> Good lord. Why don't you want to? I just let me. I see people say it's the best thing that's happened in yeah. the film in like one year. I'm like, good lord, people. Yeah. I don't I don't, if more people yeah. make movies like that, I'd say it's the worst thing that's ever happened to, to do. Why do you, so? I know that we both know people that have enjoyed this movie that we respect. What What is it that you? What do you think is like I don't. These aren't stupid people. Yeah, I hate to so say like, like that they just want to say it's. I hate to say people just want to say it's good because you know, I think it looks smart. Actually, but, yeah, there has to be people who actually really like. Because that's the thing. I think people say that about like the A twenty four movies that I really like. Like there are movies I like that people are like. Oh, people just say it and they like it too much and they're smart. But yeah. no, I actually. Actually, well, I like, I, yeah, like yeah, I hereditary I like, and I, stuff I, I, like that. I, really, I, really I like, like Midsummer. Midsummer. Yeah. I like these movies, so I don't know. Um, so there's I something say, by the way, getting I, out of this movie that I we're just really not. Like the, I did not like the Green Knight at all when I first saw it, and I watched it again on the plane to it? LA Green Knight, which is, is also it? a 24 movie. What is it about? Um, I guess it's a quiet. I it's, I didn't know the story before, but it's about this um night and this uh the Green Knight's like this like tree guy like, a, he's like oh a, like King Arthur yeah and he's like kind of a tree man and he comes in and he, says, he wants to play a game with this guy oh like, you hit me as hard as you can and then one year like I get to do it back and so he, he chops and he chops the Green Knight's head off. And then the Green Knight takes his head, gets on his horse, and rides away. And one year later, he has to go and find the Green Knight and offer up his head. That's a movie? Yeah. It's like a three. It's freaking. The first time I saw it, Should it be? I was like, this movie, that was let's a short just move. Story. This movie <laughs> seems like it's like 40 years long. Yeah. And I'm so bored. I'm bored out of my mind. Yeah, you just really did a good job of summarizing it in about. 10 seconds so and then so i watched it again on the plane to to la so it was a long plane ride and i really liked it so huh, I don't know. interesting well maybe you'll have to watch i hated it again. in the theater I mean, it was well made in the th- i didn't hate it like skin or anything it was incredibly boring but i, I liked it uh in the fun plane so. i think i see some just got a shirt that's funny that says lucky me I suppose. Oh. Now I wanna know. Like I wanna know what that is. Is that a thing or is that like just I can't imagine that it like skin or <laughs> I the reason people say it, like it reminds them of like being scared as a kid, but well yeah and I um I posted about that because I saw that okay oh, cactus plant what <laughs> This is a very expensive shirt that we just ordered. On sale, twenty percent off, seven hundred and sixteen dollars was eight hundred and five dollars. Who would pay that for the real real? Go by Cactus plant flea market. Lucky me, see ghost traffic for a place. I don't understand. Oh my god. What can it mean? Reality? Oh, this one's 75 99 <laughs> So, what the hell? There's just open. All right. Damn. All right. What Ooh, the hell? What was that one? We just opened some idiot goods. Is it warm there? by like a famous person? Uh, Look, see, this is. What the hell? Well, five bucks, so. Someone just opened the for a final sucker. Of course, you can't find guys selling blenders. 
that blender. Chop up people for the maximum nutrition. Carl. What's Carl's name again? Solomon. Solomon. Carl Solomon, hell of a guy. Yeah. Like uh, he was in uh, Smash. Yeah, he's, 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 he's also in the Greasy Strangler, and he's also in uh, the video Dead. So it's at least three movies I, I know of. I didn't realize that. He's at least three movies with. Like I said. That's crazy. Huh? At least we don't know what else it is because Michael St. Michael's is in like a million things. So be someone somewhere will post about some TV show. Or a movie, and he'll be like, I was in that. And I believe him because he's been an extra in about yeah. a million things. Like, I think he was using Columbo, which I love Columbo. And now I have to scour the Columbo. I think find Carl's him. very similar. Yeah. And he, I don't remember if he said if he was in Coltrack. He's in the Burbs. You could see him at the end of the Burbs. Yeah, and he's in that really family funny. movie. Is he? Yeah, he's in the dance scene. So cool. I want to move to LA and just be an extra in a whole kind of show. Yeah. That's really cool. Would like, you? I legitimately think that's awesome. I agree. 100%. I think it's expensive. I think if you tap in early and you get your right, red right, right. frozen, because I have a friend that moved out there about probably like 20 yeah. years ago. Same way, like in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I should just maybe you and me can move out there with my friend. <laughs> My friend Wes. He will make stuff. I got a stinky dog. Though. I got a stinky, stinky dog. Oh, I can't you. know. It's a smelly, nasty bulldog. It's in the house. It wouldn't leave me alone. So we were in LA, and him and Sophia and Michael had to like leave to do life and move on to England, right? Did we go straight to no, Ohio? Oh, wow. <laughs> and so I have a England, a, Ohio. Similar, yeah. similar. Um, a childhood friend of mine has lived in Hollywood for many years, and uh, I haven't seen him in forever. So we connected, and I went to stay there after Neil had left, and it was very cool to see him. And then I went to sit on the couch. And there are two dogs. He has a roommate. And there's two dogs, one is big, kind of like a monster dog. It's very cool. And then there's this barrel. It's a huge bulldog. Like and bulldog. it was just trying to get up on the couch, up on the couch, up on the couch. Like, you stinky bastard. It's like, <laughs> like dying on them. It's hot. It's like 90 something. There's no AC, no fan. The fan can open in the middle of the night. Oh. No, I just talked myself out of it. Never mind. I think it was last year was in summer. I was walking in Boston, and someone had an English bulldog, and I thought, oh, "God, it's so cute!" And he just stopped and just started taking his thing like shit right in. <laughs> <laughs> right in the man. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. But the man story. just looks at you. You're like, "That's a nice bulldog." I remember man looks at you, pulls down his pants. He's just eye contact with you the whole time. Remember when I went out to LA to film the movie Senso too, and so Michael just kept talking about like about poop so much, and I really thought like, "What, what? what is with him?" He's like, "You got to go avoid all this poop," and I'm like, "It's got some kind of like you know like a like, uh, poopophobe or something." It's a peekaphobe. And so then I, I quickly realized, holy shit, there is poop everywhere in LA. Oh, there was. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And he's like, and it's not all dogs. Like, there wasn't poop. Sometimes that he's you like, can be off. places and just like walk and just not. Know. Or even like if you're texting or talking or whatever, you're not yeah. always looking down at the sidewalk, but there was a lot. And he's like, in these a puddles, you're going to realize this is a desert. So if there's a puddle, it's yeah. fresh. Yeah, from the sky. Whoa. Just be careful. Yeah. It is, it is interesting. I do I like it really there. Take, like, what, is, what is with this? <laughs> what are you trying to say about your own opinion? I just didn't assume it's everywhere. Yeah. 
Oh, but, uh, you thought he was like yeah, about yeah, yeah. or something? Yeah, he decided, like, you know, man, be careful. Oh. Walking to the, go to CVS with the Cooper. Next By the way, way, I think the audio is living through it. It's dumb. I'm not as familiar with that monster, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's, would you a weird, that's, see... a, that's a really weird one. Which is kind of cool that, that it's just, yeah, it's a really uh, it's a it's a obscure thing. thing. Yeah, like the, 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 this is cool. Troy has yeah, done a fine job on this. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon them, prints nice. nice. Yes, I tell them to go. Yeah. It's very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, I thought it did a good job on the coloring on all the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> We saw uh, Troy Minkowski as well. Who Troy Minkowski. Troy Minkowski. Um, we saw him right before we went into the Dumb Witch Horrors. He was talking about the Worm Man. Conference. Oh, yeah. He was cool. I forget his friend's name. She was very nice. Yeah, I, I've not met her before. So I met Troy the, for the first time. He invited me to do... It was on local access TV. Oh, so sweet. we went... It was in a that's for someone to assemble. And so it was me, it was th three people, and he was the host. And we watched, um, what was it? Uh, the uh, Little Shop Wars, that's the original. Oh, nice. The original. The I still like that one. Yeah, I think then, it's very fun. So we watched it, and then we did a, uh, like a QA, where we did, like, we talked about the movie. The experts, he's really uh, to me. Uh, and, uh, I was trying to get us on cable. Maybe yeah, the I, I, I think it. we should try this again, actually. Um, but anyway, so um, I, we try to pretend there's a lot of people in the crowd, and there's literally one person there. <laughs> what time was it? It's like it looks like yeah, it's it's like, like a totally three or four. Hour for people to be there. <laughs> yeah. And so I kept joking, like all oh, these people, like, they never actually showed because it was literally one person. Yeah, it could have been anybody. Well, now they all know. And um, anyway, he's a good guy. We were he was yeah, going like to do something else with them at some point, but well, I think it was uh, it was COVID. He was, he was making a show or something. I wonder how long things would have been. Uh, I'm not getting the sheet. But I know the song, you know it too. Let me bring you there. Another day. There you go. It's a great song. I like that. I like that. People make fun of the 90s. I like the almost all the 90s. I do not like Spanish music, but I do like this person. I know you're very into the nineties. Yeah, I saw a really interesting article recently that um most people stop um, listening to music, listen to new music, right? Uh, past like the twenties or something like that. It's, like they just it's probably very shut true down. Me, I, would say. I thought that was fascinating because I my brother's not that way. That he listens to a lot of stuff. Good. Right? That says a lot for me. I'm impressed. He was listening to Kings of Leon a few years ago. He listened to well, that God like awful happy old. song. I love that's that song. Really best song so love it. But it, I had I listened to it the first time in special circumstances with my I already mentioned on the show someone was like a little boy. And it was a whole family thing. It was beautiful and he was very happy. And weekend. My mom listens to all this stuff too. I don't think any of that's new. It's newer to me. It, it happened after like uh, 1999. Yeah, yeah, probably before that. Like 96, oh my God. So after yeah. you graduated high school, yeah. that was in. After, after the Stone <laughs> Temple Pilots. <laughs> Dear and then did that those new fangled uh, Velvet Revolver band after the uh, Well that's a, we had the, Oh my goodness. No, I've actually listened to I actually the weekend did a uh, Super Bowl 
Okay. Half time. And I was like, oh, let's take a picture. Do you listen to Spotify? Yeah. You're not on the thing. You know so cool about Spotify? I, I put it to like, uh, to just play like my, I, I do a game sometimes actually when I'm on the bus. Yeah. So I put it to, it's it's called like your, it's, what's it called? The, um, not theme song, but it's like, it's like your own, not your playlist. And it'd be like. Station? I mean, no, they call it something in particular. It's like the. Um, Daily thing? No, it's like your. What would be like uh, the music of a movie? Soundtrack? The soundtrack of oh. like it's like your soundtrack of your life. Really? <laughs> well, it's what called your. Like? It's just called your soundtrack. And, soundtrack. and so, so I, I a couple of times Here I did is. this on Facebook. I was like, I'm gonna put on the. the no, it's Amazon. I think it's like oh. an Amazon Music soundtrack, and I'm like, the first five songs are gonna be the soundtrack of a biopic about me. And so whatever, whatever comes up, but I just think it's kind of funny. Well, you should, if you're on Spotify, make yourself public so you can find me. Okay, I am. Spy on what you're listening to. Because it is really fun. And actually, that's the kind of, like, I love listening to, not new music necessarily, like, it's came out the last year, but music that's new to me, so... I used to listen to Pandora, and I found out about a band, I think it was Killing Joke, which I loved, and then you can listen to The Station, right? So you pick a band, you like, yeah, yeah, The Station, and then you like, listen to the songs, and it's like, oh, these are cool. Who's this band? I'll listen to this station. I'll listen to this. And it just like brand new. So I found a lot of stuff that's older, like way older. Like I started listening to Frank Zappa. I had a really cool band. I watched Carmen the name. It's just crazy. You ever listen to Frank Zappa? I think you might actually. I know you. I think you like it. It's very weird. It's very silly. So yeah. So I was just uh, fascinated by this article because if you didn't stop listening to music, I don't, I don't understand it. It's such a wonderful, diverse I mean, like Actually, food. that's not it's completely like, true because I listen to a lot of stuff that I play on the show and then I listen to it. I, music is like something that I want to try new things all the time. And I love trying new restaurants, new foods, and new flavors. I do that movies, TV shows. That kind of thing. I, I, I movies, uh, movies, TV shows, food. I'm just totally with you. Yeah. And that's how I feel like food, like I do kind of stick with the core, honestly. I have like some old stuff in my life, like silly old fantasy movies and stuff like that. And I, I watch some some I honestly watch I like, but... but well, that's not true. I actually don't really watch a lot of comedies. Yeah. Definitely yeah. don't watch Robin Con. I actually don't like a lot of big movies. No, I don't need it. But I don't just watch I watch a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of time. Um, I really don't. Like, my days are really long, and the weekends I'm not home. And the weekends I, unless I'm with you, I'm not watching or whatever. So I'll watch other stuff, but it's always with other people. Um, well, I know it's a lot of really yeah. yeah. Most of those are, well, I guess it was some new ones, but a lot of them. Because I never read so many of the King ones, I, I lose so many of the old King books, and then a lot of classic horror novels that I never read. That's kind of PDF because I prefer to read. It's hard for me to do audiobooks because I will. My attention span is too short. If you read, you can just be like, "Oh, I just passed all the things." And you can't do like, it or it. I'll get run over. No, I'm just saying for myself. So I found a PDF of someone's lot. Oh, I don't know if it's legal, but I just found it because uh, someone had posted somewhere it's one about of my series. Favorite book. Yeah, I love mini series, but never read. I read a lot of Stephen King when I was a kid. I read a lot, a lot, a lot, and then. I just don't read that much anymore, but they have a new sound that's, I don't know if it's totally done being made. 
Yes, but it's happening. Yeah. Will happen. Yeah. Before that comes out. Because so the, I can Arlo, give it a fair Arlo in the basement is much different than he is in the book. I'm sure it's very different. So I'm going to read it. I started it. We'll know much about it. Because I love miniseries. I call it a miniseries. I just feel like it's a movie. It's too far. Oh. Yeah. The miniseries is like... A series is for the right, series. you would think it's like five parts. Yeah. I would not never call two things a series. Yeah, because even series. it's just two series. Yeah, it's two episodes. Well, that's it. Yeah. If you were going to recommend some uh, music that's new in your world, what would you do? I have to really think about this. Well, a lot of stuff we play on the show. Yeah, I'd have to think that. I don't know. I don't know. Today, I was listening to Not Lost with an H on my way. The post G O S T album. Evil techno. It's very loud. It's very fast. It's very high energy. Behemoth album is so awesome. I'll play it in the bar. It's like, and wait, I found out about them a million years ago. I was out and about, I think, in Austin at Great Scott, which was a really cool, very small bar club. They have an amazing concert, so they'd be like four people back to back, they'd be like four or five in a row. And this goes to the drummer just was at one of these things. It was just a guy, it was just a DJ. In black, and he had a skull, almost like a. It was just like a skull, and that was the thing. And I'm sold, you know. Some dude dressed in black, and he's like mixing his stuff, and it was awesome. And the crowd loved it. It was great. I got the album. But now I don't know how many years ago it's been, but uh, now there's a singer. Right before the, well, it was a couple of years before the pande pandemic had started inside. I don't, I don't know if anymore, but I should do much more. Where it was interviews with people that didn't fit in, in your head. So it wasn't with Don Wrestling on Horse. And right before the pandemic had started, I don't know how it came about, but someone uh, music related contacted me and they represented a lot of like, concerts and stuff in Boston. And so I started mm -hmm. doing a lot of those interviews that they wanted me to come out and do interviews in person, but it was right when the pandemic started. So, but, um, but I don't know, I should actually get back in contact with them. Um, I, yeah, one that was really cool, and it was actually I couldn't go to because I was going to something else, but they wanted me to come out to the zombies. Um, the old band. Like the cram uh, zombie, the zombies. The zombies. Oh, the zombies. Yeah. Yes. And so I had it's one awesome. of the founding members on the show, which is a really awesome interview, actually. And then they, they wanted me. Yeah. They only really did one album. That's very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You sent me a shirt. That's a yeah. I always forget. We, I think we always look here at us. Uh -huh. So if you see us, we're like, oh, it's like here. we need to like put like a piece of tape. Oh yeah, on the see, I can actually so see it now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what I was bringing up was they actually, it was you know some other. They weren't all like really big bands. Yeah. And uh, but a lot of them played at places I've been talking about, like the Middle East. And, uh, well, when we walked by that big crowd today outside of Sinclair. That's a nice little one, too. There's probably some people there. Yeah. The Middle East. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, that's a nice one. What is that flock? It's a big one. 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 That's very cool. Middle East is going to die. Yeah. It's so sad. But Man Ray is open. That's very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, old man. 
has resurrected. He's risen from the grave. Part four, formative part of my development as a person. Me and Man Ray and I call. Serving all the weirdos of the community. Stay weird. It's important. It's too, too many people have to hide themselves under a blanket of norm. I have to hide. Much of my life, I have to hide under a, a cover of normality. It's sad. So this is kind of like reminding myself. I got this right before the convention, not the convention, the film festival, because I needed some clothes. So I got this, and I'm like happy I got it because I, I see it. It's a reminder to myself. Like don't let those fucking normies out there beat you down. You gotta like. Stay true to you and do the things. Do you get some uh, some cool uh, dinner in the movie ideas for shirts? Nice to have some cool merchandise out there. It's not like that they really make a lot of money, but I think it's cool for people that to wear it and then I wear it. You'll get free shirts too. I'm talking about lucky. I'm getting free shirts like Neil Jones model this sweet shirt. No, I really thought it, honestly I must have even replied because I thought it was like a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. We're on Instagram and like, oh, would you like if we sent you like these shirts and you I was like, yeah, okay. And so then I forgot about it. It, it did take a while, and I got them in the mail like weeks later. I was like, what the hell is this? It's this big package. And it was five like really cool shirts. One's Barlow. And then it was all, all this like stuff I had to do, like tag them. And... Oh no. No, no, it was fine. No, no, it was fine. It was just like it was like instructions on how to how to make these there, there, there was other things too, because Michael used to make fun of me. He's like, Oh, I know, I know this. They would. That was actually really cool. But they, I get like free water when I was doing when I used to post my walking bits yeah, every day. Because people get mad on Facebook and on friend me and stuff. And so then, those people are super. And then so I post a picture of Mike with this big fun because it'd be like me, like I'm walking, so like it's a canal, and I've got this big. Bottle of, of blah 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 pH. Why don't you say what it is? I forget, I forget the name of it, but it has it was like pH balance. Like this is really, and it's, I don't know how to say it without it just not coming off. Like, you know, and it was like this giant bottle, like this. I did it for the photo. And I was like, you know, it goes up and it keeps you refreshed. Wow. 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 But the shirts, yeah, the shirts are cool. I mean, it's one thing for me to tease you, but if people are going to get mad at no, they, they're you like for legit getting mad. stuff. No, 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 not about getting stuff, just about walking. They get really mad. No, seriously, like, I'm not even to get mad about that I was losing weight. Like, there was a lot of, like, like a lot, but there were several people that used to talk about that and get, like, mad about it. What? Did they give you They said, like, I was, like, rubbing in people's face that I lost weight or something, but I wasn't. I was just yeah, posting, not, like, I, I used to post a daily walk picture, actually, another thing to keep me motivated to do it every day, because I was like, well, if I post a picture every day, then I know I'm not going to, I'm not going to miss a day, because then I know I'm going to do it. I always just going to post a picture, a daily walk. I know, I've seen so many people you support selfie. you. If you were to do it was, honestly, a there was quite a percentage. It wasn't a, it wasn't the majority, but it was a lot of people. No, yeah, I'm not saying like they didn't exist, but <laughs> what percentage but I still I still walk I still walk without posting <laughs> stuff. I'm just saying let's even see. some people that I still know would get would make would get mad about the shame them, shame them. Shame them. Bring Lamberson. Why? Why would you get mad about the before and after photo? What the hell did he say? I don't know. Well, he's an asshole. 
It's one thing for people who are you friendly with to tease. It's another thing to just be asking. It's also there's a thing on because I like the time off, and there's a thing right on there. It's like this is three years ago, and then you do a share, or you can do then and now, and you click the then and now, and it just it would cut it in with the picture of today. So. It was just kind of fun little thing I would do. Well, but, the, but no, I'm not saying it to, to like... And the, the daily pics, I would either just take a selfie or I'd take a picture of something I saw. And that usually... Because I used to... I don't... Uh, the Reebok app would keep uh, track of how many miles you're out. And it would also show the, where you walk. Oh, yeah. I've seen, I've seen and it wouldn't always just be me. It would sometimes be... A, you know, so I saw in the walk. Realistically, if you were to look at percentages, 100% of the people surveyed, people that have been super lovely and supportive versus oh, haters, no, what would you say? It's definitely hot, way, I mean, way higher. Uh, give, it a, give it a rough percentage. Uh, 95%. That's a beautiful percentage. Yeah. Or maybe not, but I'm just saying that they were, they were very vocal. It's weird. What are some lovely things people have said? Oh, I, I mean, not most people are nice. Publicly and privately. A lot of people, you know, have been on the show. And stuff and so yeah. like, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Did very well. Very impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Very nice. Very impressive. Very Even if it took me. money to get you. Yeah. You know, God had to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted you to stay around, I guess. I will pay you to stop being dumb. I remember back in the day, there was the heel to heel tag. Yes, I see those that, pictures Someone sometimes. would say the, uh, the world would be a less fun place without me. Yeah. I, remember, I remember. I see those pictures in my, my folder in my computer at home. Somebody really went out of their way to come down and visit me as often as they could. Like, and made the field of the page. Because you were so bummed out. Yeah. And I'm like, Neil needs to see how yeah, I love to I remember this. And it was, it was a big trip for you to make to come down. And you were working a lot of the time. So I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not a good time. Yeah, but here you are, alive and yeah. healthy. Here we are. Right fun. Now yeah. 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 Stop it. Wow. Burn in the midnight wow. oil. I'm not going to hit this two hour video. I'm just leave it as is. Two hour video. Yeah. What happens? Do they say salt? No, I'm just saying I'm not going to go and edit this whole thing. I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, yeah. Can you chop it up like you were? Yeah, the I other can ones? Yeah. Be some highlights. But I do want to try to get some uh, some uh, dinner in the movies that have not been edited. Up. Very nice. I still found an old... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. But I found an old uh, hard drive... Well, I was looking for a hard like, drive to take uh, like a small in an old box. No, it was actually uh, by my mom's computer. And so I, I knew it was there, but I actually didn't think there was anything on it really. And so I, was, I took it along to get the footage from Jason's camera, which I ended up not even doing. But then I looked on it and it has uh, a footage of us from LA. Wow. And. Somewhere wait, else. wait up? Yeah. yeah. It's got all the stuff from LA. I was like, a lot of it's not ever been posted or edited. Wow. So that's not just wandering right. around the streets. That was back in that was old times. That was when we went to the Human Centipede yeah. premiere. So I'm I, just gonna go back and, it, and it, I know the Mad Travis. Max movie we uh is up uh, we reviewed Mad Max. That was, uh, but I don't know what else is on there. It's like Meatballs. videos of oh yeah that's right and it's, yeah it's videos of drinking us. heavily yeah it's, it's, it's yeah it's videos of us at the uh, at that diner so I don't know like there's a kind of it's probably embarrassing I don't even know if I want you know, to you know, I posted like a little clip of some private fun and I forget what else is there there's that's stuff right from another time. time too I forget what I don't know that was quite the time that was very I have to all right I. Very big fan of human. I haven't seen it in years now. What's the last time you saw it? 
I've seen it in years. I probably, I probably watched years. that movie we saw the three of them in Syracuse. Wow. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think I need to see it again. Is it redact, redact or retract my feelings that I thought Human Centipede was good? It was like the key to the moment. We're at the premiere. We're with all the people. Yeah. Met some lovely people. Danny Mendez. What a freaking hero he is. He's going to help us out doing some crappies. We'll see what happens. We won't get too deep into that yet because I got to learn some tech stuff. But Danny Mendez is way cool. Met, uh, we've already met Lawrence Harvey before. Met Dear Laser in person. Met Tom Six, who's wicked nice. There's a whole bunch of people there. Was Asian fellow Aki? Aki, Aki hero. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> he's so funny. This movie is that shit crazy. Beyond, it's just man. I actually would watch it again because it was so. Weird. I would watch it again. I it might be. Yeah, I've been watching it for like ten years. Whenever it was when it came now out. Now I remember there's like raisinets. And... Yeah. <laughs> well, they weren't raisinets because they had the they had the. They were not the, actually. Yeah, we won't say because they were mixed up in here. But they were it was raisinets at the uh, at the at the eating contest in Syracuse. Syracuse had some rich. <laughs> yeah. One guy in particular. Yeah. Well, Recently, I think we were doing some live thing, and we were talking. It might have actually been on the uh, review of Atlanta with Seth and Jason, and it came up about the guy that pretended to be in Baron Harkonnen on Yo, Facebook. Right, That's how right, yeah. Seth and I started to become buddies, yeah. and that was that lad who pointed out. I don't care if I'm calling you out by name. Yeah. Fucking weird. Who's the other guy? Call him out. I don't even remember his name, but I, he was the guy that was crawling around. <laughs> yeah, he like brought us into. See, yeah, so uh, people don't know. So, oh, so, so weird. he brought to where he worked, and, uh, but it was at night, so it's all closed. Yeah. And so he was going to work in his office, and he's like, you guys can go so do whatever. Weird. But he was like insinuating. I don't know what he thought we were going to be doing. Yeah. Just like, just, like, just, so, so we were like, there was, for some reason, there was like a bouncy, not a bouncy house, but like a, it's kid, like a kid's castle where you can like crawl around. Yeah. There's like a and it's like a tower. And all of, which was very fun to be yeah. in. Because there was no one else was there. Right. Was so we were up there. And then we heard like something. And he was like literally crawling around. Watching this, yeah, it was really creepy. That, that, that was super creepy. He said some creepy things to me. Yeah. He was just, and then he was like looking at my license plate on my car. Like, I intentionally parked away, yeah. I intentionally parked away from the building because I didn't want him to see my license plate. I don't want him to know what I drive. And he like walked us over, and it's like I don't even know. Like I'm too nice, and I act like. And he, he said about he would bring women up to the lake. That's right. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh. But there's some hilarious pictures from that ball pit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was wearing that this shirt that that, 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 uh, that uh, the fanatic. He wears the fanatic, I believe. The oh yeah, yeah, movie. yeah. That very colorful one. Yeah. And the fanatic, he says, it's a one of a kind oh, shirt. Now I'm like. And I think One he based this 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 character on the, this horror this guy with this shirt and walks around the backpack. Uh, if you find it, you should. Uh, okay. No, not at the moment. I mean, you should uh, pop up some pictures of us. <laughs> Yeah, that guy was. Like, I think I can do it on here, but I'm not sure. Oh, God. That's going to be. Let me see if I can find something. Let's see. A decade of. We will surely. Somewhere in here. 
Oh man, there are so many pictures. My God, there's like hundreds of them. I know which one I'm trying to find. I don't even know if they're in that folder. Which one? Oh no, it's a different How could it not be? This freaking there's another creep. The guy from Christine. See, you can't tell the guy in the middle. What's his name? Yeah. Do they? He's in Christine. Yeah, I guess he thought he was like, to make a long story short, I've told the story before. I, I don't think he thought he was going to hook up with me. And he said something about going to his room, and Neil and I both went because we were naive and thought that he just wanted to hang out. Yeah. Then he came to the door and he's fucking bathroom and he's like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. Like, all right. So then I don't even, whoa, it didn't even occur to me until just now. Maybe he thought that we thought that we were both, maybe he didn't think we thought we were going to hang out. Maybe he thought you were inviting yourself to the event. Hmm. I'm always not. Man, well, I know I've got it somewhere, but we'll find it. Yeah, you should put it up because the picture is very. My phone's getting kind of low. Is it? Got Thirty seconds. No, I Oh, I could find it. But we should probably go pretty soon. Hmm. Ah. You know what you should do? Uh, search Syracuse. Ah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See <laughs> Come on, man, rotate. Well, let's see if we can. Oh, no. Oh, almost. Oh, well, at some point, maybe we'll. <laughs> to see it. There Sorry. we go. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, it made me happy. Good times, good times. <sighs> yeah, a lot of fun times. Yeah, and years of fun times to be. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys are going to have to tolerate us until we die. <laughs> and say, maybe we'll then, Ouija board each other yeah, back into existence. Right, and there's all these all these hours of footage that can do AI. Oh, that's true. That's true. I have more footage of us than there are other things they've done AI. Yeah. Right, thousand, like James thousand Dean. hours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, Maybe well, you have to be in your own It's been very fun. Yeah, it's been great. It's been a really Maybe we will leave here. We'll try out some potato chips. Uh, <laughs> be like, you can't eat those chips. So, I don't know if you guys were watching earlier, but you know, brought out uh, this bag of potato chips. Now, if you didn't see the last time we tried potato chips last week, it's its own video now. It's definitely picking it up. It's horrific. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of limited. All right, what does this one smell like? It smell like body part? No, it smells like Is it? Oh, it does smell. It smells kind of. I don't want to get my hopes up. It smells barbecue. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. That's too big. Well, I saw the video 
of the last one again. I'm like, I didn't see it. <laughs> it is very much very similar barbecue too. Very that's good. That's very good. I don't know what that is. Just slightly different than barbecue. It's barbecue hand and then um, this is some kind of steamed bun. Oh, that's really good. It's way better than the beef one. If um, you can understand this. I don't know what the hell. It's barbecue, yeah. Barbecue, slightly sweet, a little smoky. It's good. Could be. A lot of that has, um, that like take your breath away thing. I yeah. Found it out to the yeah. Oh, I like it a lot. Way blows the other one out of the water. Like, I actually want more. Whereas the other ones I just spit out. There's one more, too. I took a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Looks like the crawfish with like chili sauce all over and a, and a bottle of beer. Well, this is, I think, it's a little sake. Yeah. I assume that's just for the picture. I don't think that's even part of the flavor. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. There's a flavor to a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit. These are good. Very good. Way better. So well, these are thumbs up. These are. And Buff is a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, Buff's two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did they ever, they never made movies? They made up so many bad movies off of, uh, yeah, but they never made any, um, uh, they didn't make any? I don't think so. It's not like a chip, yeah, fire or chip or whatever. Yeah, but chip. Jim Carrey ended up doing stuff with his, yeah, was wrong. Ace Ventura not the on the show? That was a funny, funny, he made it big, so. But, you know, some of them guys didn't make it, like, huge, so you think maybe they would have, uh, Tried one of the movies. He gave it out in Greer or something. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's behind the scenes permission slips and stuff like that. And they're probably all owned by the way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's been a pleasure. It's three people hanging in tight. Who are you? If you if you're still here and you have access to typey type, <laughs> let us know who you are. Or you can continue to stalk us. That's fine. Crawling around, yeah. yeah, crawling around, waiting, waiting to see things that are. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> oh, someone ran away. Yeah, Scared them off. Nope. Oh. Yeah, but thanks so much for being yeah. here. Whether you're live, whether you're seeing it after we we do it live. Yeah. Thanks so much for your support. Check out without your head. He does. I'm not always around for interviews. I'm trying to trying to get more into my world, but he does interviews almost every week. With all kinds of people in horror, big, big people, people who are indie, all over the place. There's creators, there's actors, there's so many different Coming people. Coming up live this week, Dana Nofsky. Oh. And Abigail will both be on to promote uh, their individual. Uh, ah. um, that will be a day I will not be able to because someone in my world is having surgery. I understand. So I will not. That sucks, man. Well, make them come next. No, because they're doing um, Kickstarters. Yeah, I'll see what the dates are. If we can figure out that, we'll do that. All right. But yeah. So, anyways. Check some some of those things run down. like a month or something. Mm -hmm. if, if, if it's only a couple yeah. weeks, we'll do it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Note your head, Facebook, website, YouTube, we do dinner and a movie. Yep, it's all part of it. Movies and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We might be doing some other fun stuff on here. Yeah. And go to your local theaters, keep uh keep the local cinemas and restaurants. I know we're not in a local restaurant right now, but that's as we would we be if do. we could, yeah. So yeah, keep all your local stuff going and, and then stay weird. I like that. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Sorry.